Continue. You were just a bit off. Search for the corresponding star, comforted Long Chen that disciple nodded and continued focusing. A star diagram then circulated behind him. He was cultivating the starry river of the sky art. Long Chen had not expected the disciples of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College to have such an easy time cultivating the starry river of the sky art considering just how weak their physical bodies and spiritual strengths were. They only cultivated a single cultivation technique, no battle skills or anything. They merely sought to raise their realm as high as possible, relying on their battle armor to unleash their power. Hence, their focus was on their battle armor, not cultivation, and that was why their cultivation was like a blank piece of paper. Because of that, they had a shocking rate of comprehension and progression with the starry river of the sky art. Even Long Chen himself was shocked. Even he hadn't had it so easy when he had cultivated the starry river of the sky art. Due to not cultivating other cultivation techniques or battle skills, it was easy for them to brand the starry river of the sky art within themselves. Furthermore, their weak physical bodies and spiritual strength actually resulted in a weaker backlash force. It had to be known that when Long Chen had drawn in astral power for the first time, the backlash had almost blown his body up. As expected, all things had advantages and disadvantages. Having not cultivated other cultivation techniques or battle skills, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's disciples were easily comprehending the marvelously profound starry river of the sky art. It was practically cheating. However, the starry river of the sky art also couldn't be cultivated by just anyone. It was a supreme yang technique, one that required a clear and righteous heart. Someone whose heart was filled with shadows could not condense the starry river manifestation. If they pushed it, they would explode. Those who could condense the starry river manifestation were essentially trustworthy people. Hence, the people that Long Chen taught it to were all people that Yu Ran trusted. Long Chen used them to test it and found that the results were astonishing. The 300 people that Yu Ran selected had finished finding the star that corresponded to them. There was only one disciple remaining right now. The rest were all incredibly excited. They sensed that after activating the Starry River manifestation, their bodies were constantly strengthening. It was as if the astral energy of heaven and earth was silently changing their bodies. Normally, cultivators wouldn't feel such a thing. Even if they did, it would be hard to sense. The main thing was that these disciples had incredibly weak physical bodies. After activating this manifestation, their physical bodies would naturally strengthen. However, strengthening themselves required energy. Because of it, Long Chen also prepared special medicinal pills for them. With the pills, they wouldn't run out of energy or have some injuries in their bodies. Just then, the final disciple had one star suddenly brighten within the starry river manifestation behind him. After that, Long Chen immediately shattered his manifestation with a palm to avoid too much astral energy flooding into his body and killing him. I found it, I found it! That disciple cried out excitedly. We are Navaloon, come find us on Google. Long Chen didn't need them to draw in the astral energy right now. If they did, their bodies would simply explode with their current power. He only wanted them to find the star that corresponded to them. That would activate the starry river manifestation, and then even in their sleep, their physical bodies would strengthen. They would quickly reach the level of normal people. Feeling their physical bodies rapidly strengthening, these 300 warriors were incredibly emotional. They felt like they were dreaming and were afraid of suddenly waking up. Congratulations! You've passed the trial. Starting today, you are the first batch of Starry River Warriors of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. Long Chen smiled at them. It's all thanks to Boss Long Chen. 
these three hundred disciples suddenly got on one knee toward Long Chen and shouted in unison. Their eyes were full of gratitude. This peerless divine technique had been personally taught to them by Long Chen. He had essentially given them the key to changing their fates, a new lease on life. Long Chen smiled and nodded at them. The Starry River manifestations have all been condensed. Now, you will carve your own Starry River manifestations into your battle armors. After that, specifically carve the star that you sensed into your armor. Once you draw in astral energy, use your battle armor to endure the impact, reducing the impact on your physical body. But you must be careful. Drawing in the power of the stars is not something to play around with. If you make a mistake, you might lose your life. If you don't understand something, then come find Guo Ran, Leng Hui, or Zai Liur for help. Or you can directly come find me. Remember, don't mess around if you encounter a problem with this. Your lives are no longer your own. They belong to the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, to the human race of the Old Devil Star Field. You carry a responsibility to save the Old Devil Star Field. In the future, you will be heroes whose names will go down in the Old Devil Star Field's history. But if you die before finishing your apprenticeship, that would be a wasteful death. Don't let yourselves look down on yourselves. Everyone laughed at that. They were all very excited. They had never encountered a leader like Long Chen, who thought so much of them. Furthermore, the way he talked was fun and casual. It made them feel closer to him. After Long Chen gave them the instructions, they immediately took out their battle armors and forging tables, getting to work right within the plaza. Forging was the real strength of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's disciples. It had to be known that all these battle armors were mostly made according to the measurements of each disciple. Based on their own strong points and weaknesses, they would create battle armors that suited them the most. Other than these three hundred people, Zai Liur, Leng Hui, Zai Kianqi, and Tu Hu, and the others had taken the first step and finished changing their battle armors. By this time, Zai Liur and Leng Hui felt such admiration for Long Chen that they prostrated themselves toward him. The starry river of the sky art had brought on a heaven toppling transformation for them. They finally understood why someone as talented as Guo Ran would be willing to be the junior brother of Long Chen. The forging of the starry river battle armors was overseen by Zai Liur, Leng Hui, and Guo Ran. As for Long Chen, he only took a brief break before continuing to refine violet tower pills. Seven days later, the third star, the Life Fate star, had also turned violet, and the violet Kai in his body strengthened. During this time, he hadn't just finished turning the Life Fate star violet, but he had also increased his realm to the sixth heaven stage. Hence, his power once more soared. He was only one step away from the late Divine Lord realm. It was on this seventh day that the three hundred Starry River battle armors were completed. Coincidentally, it was also on this day that Clear Rain City sent an urgent request for aid. Brothers, the moment you've been waiting for has come. We'll teach those brutes just how amazing the Starry River warriors are. We'll slaughter them until their blood flows like rivers. After receiving this distressed signal, Yuo Ran instantly gathered a hundred thousand disciples. They then charged toward Clear Rain City in three hundred battleships. Chapter 3601 In the Plaza A Disciple Hacked Out Blood Long Chen then placed a hand on his back and helped him stabilize his spirit platform with the power of his Yuan spirit. Don't be afraid. Chapter 3602-300 Battleships of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College flew through the air in the diamond formation. As a result, the Heavenly Dragon Domain's experts raised their heads and pointed excitedly, their blood heating up. 
Is our heavenly dragon divine armor college finally starting to counterattack? Cheers rang out. Ever since the old devil star field was sealed, the human race was forced into a passive state of defending. They had never taken the initiative to strike back. The majority of the commoners had no idea what exactly was happening. Hence, the human race's silence in the face of this assault left the commoners uneasy and afraid. However, today, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's battleships had no intention of hiding themselves. They flew out in confidence, giving off a wild and domineering air. Although these commoners didn't know what was happening just based on this sight alone, they knew that the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College was preparing to counterattack for the first time. They would have a frontal clash with the All Devil race. As the battleships flew through the air, the commoners of the Heavenly Dragon Domain raised their arms and cheered them on as encouragement for the warriors of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. Long Chen, Guo Ran, Zai Liur, Leng Hui, and the others stood within the first battleship. Seeing countless commoners cheering them on emotionally, some of them felt so emotional that they wept. They felt their blood heating up. I never thought that I would see such a scene in this lifetime. Leng Hui's voice was emotional as he saw endless figures cheering them on frantically. They cheered so loudly that they lost their voices, and yet they still cheered. He was clenching his fists, his blood almost boiling within him. Even as one of the four heroes, he had never experienced such a feeling. A hero lifts the heavens up and envelops everyone within their heart. They will work until their dying breath for the people. The people have entrusted all their hopes to you. In their eyes, you are the heroes that will save all of them, the most glorious gods. In this world, there is a kind of responsibility that cannot be shirked without dishonor. There is a kind of relationship that shares trials and tribulations. And there is a kind of camaraderie that faces life and death together. Only once you have experienced the true baptism of blood and fire will you understand just how valuable life is. Only then will you understand what respect and gratitude are. Long Chen looked down on the masses. Seeing countless emotional gazes, he sighed. War was cruel. It was bloody, terrifying, and loathsome. But sometimes, fighting was the most important part of protecting the world and peace. It was a very conflicting idea, but it was the reality. If people didn't have an enemy to fight, they would start fighting amongst themselves. There would then be countless Wan Zixis, and there would be countless people silently dying to internal strife. It was this kind of internal strife that caused the most damage to the human race. It was like toxic vermin constantly corroding the human race. In order to survive when times of crisis came, the human race would quickly unite and internal strife would vanish. The toxic vermin would then enter a state of slumber and the human race would gradually grow stronger. Long Chen had seen too much and had experienced a great deal. He wanted to advise everyone not to fight amongst themselves and join forces against their common enemies. However, this was not a reasonable world. Even if you understood all the reasons and principles, there would always be ignorant people. You might have no other choice. Only when the wit struck your own body would you know pain. Only when the nail was stabbed into your body would you understand suffering. Only once you were lost and knew pain would you understand repentance. But when the pain vanished, you would return to your old state, powerless to change anything. Looking at the endless figures below the flying boat, Long Chen felt many emotions. The human race was truly something that he loved and hated. I'm going to make a name for myself this time. People don't need to remember my Lang family, but they have to remember my name. Lang Huey. I will not live beneath the light of my family. I will display my own light, declared Lang Huey. Disciples from illustrious families were followed by glowing prestige. That was their glory and the proof of their status. 
but that light was also suffocating. Search Navaloon come for the original. After all, all their accomplishments and contributions belonged to their families. No matter what you did, people would think that your accomplishments were only thanks to your family. No matter how hard you worked, your merits would not be counted as your own, but as your family's. Whether it was Lang Huey or Xi Liur, they had a dream to have their own accomplishments, ones that surpassed their ancestors. Their light would then eclipse their family's light, and their families would shine because of them. Long Chen's words caused their blood to burn passionately. They had to grasp this chance to fight. They would unleash all their power for the human race. Dean Gyuo Ran truly has farsightedness. Our heavenly dragon divine armor college is moving out in force first. As the first ones, we are the example that everyone will follow. When we win the war, our heavenly dragon divine armor college will definitely be considered the number one hero. Zai Liur looked at Guo Ran and praised him. Are you mocking me? Are you doing that on purpose? Said Guo Ran a bit unhappily. What? Zai Liur was dumbfounded. Was her boot licking not good? Guo Ran irritably said. What farsightedness. I'm just listening to my boss. I'm only carrying out orders. Zai Liuer was embarrassed. She had actually thought that this was Guo Ran's decision. Now that she praised Guo Ran for it, it did sound a bit satirical. Then, is there still enough time for me to praise Boss Long Chen? Zai Liuer bitterly smiled. Long Chen shook his head. There is no farsightedness on my part. This is all the old dean's arrangements and we are only carrying out his plan. He has paved the path for us, and now we just have to walk down it. This battle will be our opening battle, the opening act. So, we cannot just win. We must win beautifully. We must put on such a show that the rest of the human race is won over. That will allow our heavenly dragon divine armor college to lead this war. Lang Huey, Zai Liuer, and the others nodded. The position of the leader of this war was very important. The human race in the current All Devil Star field was like a plate of scattered sand. They had to be united to win this war, but the leader had to have the necessary power to gain the trust and approval of the rest of the humans. All battleships hear my orders. Enter combat state. Long Chen suddenly shouted. After that, countless runes lit up on the battleships, and the grand formations were all activated to their maximum power. Clear Rain City could already be seen far in the distance. When they got closer, they saw mountains of corpses pile atop the walls. They almost drowned Clear Rain City. Moreover, the grand formation of the city was filled with holes, looking like it might collapse at any moment. Fast Earths, Clear Rain City sent an urgent request for aid to all the major powers of the human race. How is it that no one else is here? Kyo Ran was enraged when he saw no other reinforcements outside or inside this city. Lang Hiwi and Zai Liur were also enraged. It had to be known that they had first gathered their troops and prepared the battleships for a large battle before moving out. They had taken a bit more time so the other reinforcements should have gotten here first. But they didn't see a single other person that had come to help. If they had arrived any later, the millions and millions of commoners inside the city would have been annihilated. Warriors of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College slaughter every last one of our enemies, use their blood to play the overture of the human race's counterattack. Following Long Chen's shout, the 300 battleships charged straight into the core of the battlefield. Divine light shot out of the battleships, blasting apart the devil beasts. After that, blood mist filled the world. Liv, it's a trap. The city lord of Clear Rain City was covered in blood fighting inside the city, and seeing those battleships, rather than feeling the slightest joy, he roared furiously. When the battleships reached the core, 
the surrounding space collapsed and spatial gates opened like the eyes of fiends covering this entire world their enemies had long since set up a heaven encompassing net here we know it's a trap but we came anyway brothers if you want to be powerful warriors your chance has come upon seeing the endless devil beast army pouring out of those spatial gates long chen's battle intent instantly ignited pil guaran's blood was boiling he took the lead his devil dragon battle armor appearing around him wielding dragonbone evil moon he charged out first chapter three thousand six hundred three guaran and the others charged toward clear rain city seeing them those devil beasts that were attacking the formation actually retreated they just abandoned the battered city hence gu ran and the others effortlessly entered the city traitors appeared in our clear raid city they were the ones who sent out the distress signal there is already no way to protect this city and now we've also implicated you i i the city lord was filled with shame and guilt senior don't blame yourself even our own heavenly dragon divine armor college produced hundreds of traitors it's not something to be ashamed of furthermore no matter what kind of situation you're in sending out that distress signal was the right choice we are all part of the human race if you don't ask for aid from us who will you ask don't talk about implicating anyone as long as there is the slightest hope we will still fight to the death together for nothing else other than the fact that we also have the blood of the human race flowing within our bodies comforted long chen although he had only met this city lord once before long chen could tell he was someone responsible and diligent he was the one who had noticed the huge trap set up around the city he had realized that they were planning on using clear rain city as bait so any reinforcements would be sending themselves to their deaths the urgent distress signal was then sent out by traitors within the city by the time the city lord found out it was too late he wanted to tell everyone not to fall for it but the communication formations were already broken by those traitors making him unable to send out word most hateful of all those traitors also broke the other formations within the city although they were all slain in the end they still dealt a mortal blow to the city even when all the experts of the city were fighting with all their power they were using up half a year's worth of resources in just an instant's sticks worth of time those experts all knew that they were definitely dead and could only hope to bring down as many enemies as they could with them when they had already given up hope the heavenly dragon divine armor colleges battleships appeared the city lord was gratified but also sad about that city lord you should rest the warriors of the clear rain city have fought the first half of this battle bravely leave this next half to my heavenly dragon divine armor college we will get revenge for those fallen warriors so that they can rest in peace said guo ran he then shouted defensive battleships set up the formation of the three hundred battleships one hundred of them separated from the group their runes lit up and connected forming a giant barrier around clear rain city xi liur lang huey and the others were surprised by this they had simply assumed that all three hundred battleships were offensive ones defensive battleships were mobile fortresses with almost unbreakable defenses they were normally used to provide cover or protect other battleships in battle moreover the defensive barrier created by a hundred of these battleships was dozens of times stronger than clear rain city's defensive barrier as a result the city that was on the verge of collapse instantly became an impenetrable stronghold dean guo ran truly is wise and farsighted your vision has instantly resolved the most pressing matter and we can fight freely praised xi liur after living for so many years have you not learned anything if you do this again i really will get angry you ran glared at xi liur xi liur once more realized that she had misspoken 
This was all Long Chen's preparations. Her praise of Gyuo Ran was viewed as a mockery by Gyuo Ran. Just then, countless spatial gates opened, and an army of devil beasts came flooding out. The world lost its original color as the army of devil beasts filled all of heaven and earth. Stop wasting time talking. Ignore the devil beasts and find the hidden battleships, barked Long Chen. Yuo Ran had long since taken out a compass with a quivering golden needle. It quickly pointed and stopped in a certain direction. Found them. Everyone charge. Yuo Ran smiled delightedly. Putting away the compass, he took the lead, charging out like a black shooting star. As soon as Yuo Ran moved, Zai Liuer, Leng Hui, Zai Kianqi, and Tu Hu, and the others immediately followed. Following them were the three hundred Starry River warriors, as well as the two hundred battleships. They all charged toward one mountain. Split the heavens one. Yuo Ran roared, and his battle armor lit up. A giant saber image then soared into the sky and slashed into the mountain. Boom! The giant mountain exploded, and the immense power even caused the entire world to tremble. The spatial gates were shaking. The power of this blow was enough to shatter the heavens. When the mountain crumbled, black battleships came tumbling out of the dirt. Dirt and rubble flew in every direction. Yuo Ran's attack was truly stunning. Seeing it, Clear Rain City's experts were invigorated. This was not just a display of absolute power, but also a release of their rage. This attack forced out the black battleships hidden underground. The reason Yuo Ran was able to find them was all thanks to the special compass that Zhu Yifen had given him. Just as Long Chen had said, the old dean had long since paved the road for him. Those battleships were hidden underground and had a formation to cover up their auras. They had not expected someone to be able to find them. Since that was the case, their defensive runes were not activated, and they were badly battered by this attack. Pill, Zai Liuer, Lang Hui, Zai Kainkian, Tu Hu, and the others had long since been waiting for them and immediately attacked them as they were tumbling through the air. One attack after another smashed into those battleships. Explosions rang out. Countless cracks and holes appeared in them. Battleships had shocking defensive powers, and most people had difficulty damaging them in normal times. However, these battleships were not in a combat state. With their runes not activated, everyone's attacks immediately caused a great deal of damage to them. Furthermore, Zai Kian and the others were professionals. Their attacks were targeting the weakest areas of the battleships. Once the runes there were broken, the battleship's power would plummet. There were over 400 of those hidden battleships. Without even having a chance to summon their power, those battleships were already severely damaged. Some of them were so badly damaged that there was no longer any way for them to activate their defensive power. Boom! Suddenly, a giant hole appeared in one of the battleships. A black figure came flying out of that hole. It was Gyuo Ran. With his devil dragon battle, armor's sharpness, he accurately pierced through a weak spot in a battleship. With that, it was fully crippled. On his own, he had forcibly ruined a high-level battleship, so the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College and Clear Rain City's experts let out a burst of cheers. Their morale reached an unprecedented height. Boom! Yuo Ran suddenly raised his saber, and the battleship that he had pierced through exploded. Amidst the raging flames, Yuo Ran's voice rang out clearly. Offensive battleships crushed the enemy ships. Just at this moment, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's battleships entered the perfect firing range. Rays of divine light shot out, and a wave of light drowned the entire world. When you're just trying to make great content at Navalun, come. Chapter 3604 On his own, Guo Ran had blasted through a battleship, causing it to explode. Following his roar, 
the heavenly dragon divine armor college's battleships rumbled the attacks that they had been preparing for a long time came raining out as if they didn't cost any money at all the enemy battleships were completely unable to retaliate after being caught off guard black battleships exploded one by one their broken fragments were like meteorites falling to the earth leaving giant holes the hundreds of battleships left a mass of wreckage at this moment countless armored experts came flying out of the wreckage and directly targeted guo ran they clearly knew that he was the commander in front of these tens of thousands of black armored experts guo ran simply rested his saber on his shoulder as runes flowed around his body a completely unbridled and arrogant voice rang throughout the entire battlefield i swept through the four seas crossed a thousand mountains caused huge billows in heaven and earth with his battle armor and divine saber the unrivaled hero guo ran will quell the land long chen was speechless this fellow lived by this little jingle of his he had never changed the first part but the latter part was constantly changing his skin was truly thick even so this act was a bit too forceful it was lacking a bit of skill compared to mo nian however with his battle armor on his voice was different becoming metallic and powerful despite it being the same old phrase the metallic rumbling that came with it was quite intimidating what unrivaled hero you're nothing more than an ascender from the lower world an enemy expert roared reaching you ran this was a late stage world king and he seemed to be a commander when the runes on his armor rumbled his aura was quite shocking but guo ran didn't reply he directly swung his saber like a bolt of lightning shockingly it was another blow of split the heavens facing it that late stage world king was directly blasted apart along with his armor this novel is available on noveloon com what trash is this i actually thought that you had some skills but you just wasted my saber kai peak shamelessness Yuo ran swept out his saber once more and a giant black saber image swung through the air like a crescent fang of death toward those black armored experts this one attack encompassed a giant space covering tens of thousands of experts the void rumbled against it those tens of thousands of experts blocked with all their power as a result the sky darkened and an intense ripple spread through this space those experts actually managed to halt guo ran's saber in midair this effortless power from guo ran shook everyone both friends and foes they were all stunned only long chen smiled this little fellow was actually quite smart his battle armor was powerful but against so many experts he would still have trouble however the saber kai in his attack didn't explode on contact with those people but the attacks from those tens of thousands of experts were forced to explode by the saber kai in truth this was the true clash of power against power those experts attacks were exploding amongst themselves causing them to affect each other and lower their power but outsiders couldn't see this all they saw was guo ran's saber force back an army of tens of thousands of experts he stopped their powerful current hmph don't say that i didn't give all of you a chance now it's your time to show off after that attack guo ran casually placed his saber back on his back and returned to long chen's side long chen's smile widened guo ran really wasn't bad he fully displayed his power in just three moves putting on a marvelous display he then successfully retreated the main thing was that all of this fellow's power was exhausted with these three attacks he needed to rest and allow his armor to recover but that was enough he had completely shaken everyone breaking the courage of the enemies and raising the morale of his allies just then zai liu leng huey 
and the others led an army of three hundred starry river warriors over like a pack of wolves pouncing on a flock of sheep. At this moment, the starry river battle armors lit up. A starry river flowed on top of their armor, and their armor seemed to come to life. Every single one of their auras soared. Xylior and Langhui were already powerful. But now that they had changed to the starry river battle armor, they gave them unprecedented power. Taking the lead, they blasted through their enemies' battle armors. They were like tigers amongst sheep, completely unstoppable. Zykyankian, Tu Hu, and the others followed close behind, and behind them were the three hundred starry river warriors. They were like a sharp javelin piercing through the enemy's formation. Those black armored experts were originally charging out arrogantly, but they were stopped by Guo Ran's attack, and before they could regroup, Zai Liur, Lang Hui, and the others arrived. Their killing intent made them shiver. Having lost any advantage, their defenses were a mess. The Starry River warriors continued to fight with increasing power. This was their first time fighting in this state, and sensing the endless power welling up within them, they practically went crazy. They had never felt such a refreshing feeling. As a result, all their anger and hatred were unleashed. The hatred that they had for the old devil race was embedded into their blood, into their souls. However, in comparison to the old devil race, their hatred for these traitors was even worse, because these traitors had caused the deaths of an unknown number of innocent people. These traitors had sold out the human race for their personal profit. They had sold out on their relationships and their souls. They were the enemies that had caused the most harm to the human race. Kill! Kill them all! Avenge the souls of the fallen! Teach these traitors that traitors don't have a good ending! We'll use their blood as a sacrifice to the fallen humans! The Starry River warriors roared, crazily slaying these black armored experts. Seeing their enemies being slain, seeing their fresh blood spraying through the air, they grew even crazier. At this moment, their battleships rumbled and rays of divine light spread, isolating this area. Those devil beasts were actually separated by it and unable to enter this region. With the barrier in place, the Starry River warriors slaughtered their enemies with ease. Three hundred against tens of thousands looked to be an unfair fight, and it truly was unfair. Those three hundred Starry River warriors slaughtered the black armored experts. In just a few minutes, half of them were slain. Those experts felt like they were in a nightmare. They lost the will to resist and began to flee, but the battleships had locked down this space. Fleeing only quickened the rate at which they died. We surrender. Navaloon, calm finally, the remnants of this army crumbled and gave up on resisting. Yuo Ran laughed. Just as he was about to give the order to capture them, Long Chen's voice rang out. Kill them all. Don't take prisoners. Chapter 3605 Following Long Chen's orders, those red-eyed Starry River warriors carried out their heart's desire, continuing to crazily chase down those traitors. A quick look at Navaloon Kam will leave you more fulfilled. As a result, this battlefield became a slaughter ground. Just over three hundred experts hunted down tens of thousands of black armored experts. No, you can't do this to us. We've already surrendered. If you do this, you aren't in the right either. If you don't allow surrender, you'll only force more people to fight to the death against you. If you kill us, what will happen to the people's hearts? You'll isolate yourselves. This is wrong. Long Chen's execution order caused those black armored experts to cry out in terror. At this time, several of the college's elders came over to Long Chen and Guo Ran. One of them said, Dean Guo Ran, since they've already surrendered, we should accept it. Otherwise, we'll have no moral standing ground either. Other than that, this will push the traitors to fight to the death. In any case, 
they are going to be dead, so they'll do everything they can to drag us down with them. We'll take greater losses in future battles. But by accepting their surrender, we'll gain intel on the enemy as well as some new combat forces. Dean Guo ran, you can consider it. These elders had come to record the battle. That was their responsibility. For example, the process of the fighting, the numbers on both sides, and the strategies employed would all be recorded. This was a very important matter. Through this record, people could learn the details of the battle and gain experience. They could draw on the experiences of the victor and the losers. They could know who contributed to the victory and who caused the defeat. Naturally, this record was written by the elders of the college with the highest virtue and prestige. They didn't have any combat power, and their longevity had essentially reached an end. However, they were still using the final glimmer of their life to do a bit of work for the college. If they lost this battle, they would be slaughtered with everyone. But they weren't afraid. For them, dying on the battlefield was the best end that they could ask for. These elders were also quite stubborn, and they would definitely record the battle in an impartial way, not intentionally making one side look better or worse. They actually possessed quite the temper. Since they only came to give a reminder, they were using a polite tone. They were definitely giving face to Kua Ran. Seniors, I know that you are warning me with good intentions because you don't want me to carry this infamy. But my boss has given the order not to keep prisoners. Then he must have his own reasons. I might not know them, but I won't question him. I will listen to my boss. As for what you record, I feel like you should record whatever you feel is correct. There is no need for the college's desire to produce a hero to affect your work. All I know is that my boss is definitely not wrong, so please write down your record as you would, said Guo Ran. Guo Ran was also very courteous to these upright people. There weren't that many upright people left in this world. Then, Mr. Long Chen, this old man simply wishes to have an accurate record. I am not qualified to question your actions. But do your current actions have some deeper meaning? Can you explain it a bit to this old man for the record? Asked that elder while turning to Long Chen. Long Chen shook his head. There is no deeper meaning to it. Traders must pay the price for their actions. Perhaps they were simply unable to think clearly for a moment. Now that they have repented, is it not possible to give them a chance to wipe the slate clean and act properly? Asked the elder. Wipe the slate clean? Do we have the power to give them that chance? Could you forgive them in the place of the souls that they killed? Long Chen looked at that elder coldly. Well, the elder sank into thought for a moment. After they surrender, they can make up for it with some contributions. The dead are already dead. Even if you kill them, the dead will not come back to life. But those that are still alive can have better odds of surviving. By accepting these traitors, you can turn them into our own combat power and strengthen our forces. That will lessen our casualties. At the same time, we are leaving a path for the other traitors, making it so that they won't go all out against us. It will affect their unity. Anyway, there will be more and more traitors over time. What is in the past is in the past. We should look into the future instead of bullshit. Long Chen shouted. Why are you cursing? Demanded the elders angrily. I curse you for being idiots. I have the urge to kill you right now. To actually try to delude people with an army right in front of us. If it was in my Dragonblood Legion, people like you would be immediately executed. You are so foolish and you don't even know it. Now, you want to be a good person advising others. But people like you cause the greatest harm. The damage that you cause to the human race is even greater than those traitors. One rotten good person really is more evil than ten bad people, raged Long Chen. You, you, you better explain yourself. 
How are we rotten good people? demanded the elders furiously. Ever since ancient times, compassion was never able to command troops. Just how many good people have your so-called good intentions killed? How do you know that after they surrender, they'll join forces with us? They betrayed us once, so why can't they betray us a second time? How do you know that they won't stab us in the back? Since they've betrayed the human race and can raise their blades against us, they are no longer humans. Whether they were pressured or enticed, it doesn't matter. A wrong is a wrong. Every person must bear the responsibility for their mistakes. If I accept their surrender, I am leaving a path for those traitors to live. I am also leaving a path for the humans who are still wavering about what side to join. Then even if they betray us, who cares? They can just surrender when the time comes. They'll only be cursed a bit, but they won't die right. Then the cost of betrayal will be cheapened. Why don't you tell me just how many people in the human race are currently opportunists waiting to see how the wind blows? How many are waiting to jump to whatever ship they think is safest? What kind of effect will this have on the human race? How will the human race unite everyone's heart against the old devil race like that? Long Chen pointed and cursed at the elder. Well, the elder was instantly speechless. Well, what? You don't know shit, so don't blindly fart. You are so foolish that there's no saving you, so don't implicate others. If you cause the destruction of the human race because of your influence, can you old fellows bear the responsibility? You think that because you're old and have seen more, you can criticize others and give them pointers. You're only here to record the battle. Tell me, if it was instead your history that was recorded, how would people judge and criticize you? Demanded Long Chen icily. Those old fellows were instantly ashamed. They were using their own experience to advise Guo Ran, but they hadn't expected there to be such grave consequences of their advice. Although Long Chen was cursing them, they had no choice but to admit that his words were correct. They could not retort. Starting now, anyone who questions my orders is to scram. If they don't scram, then they are to be executed, said Long Chen coldly. Just then, the spatial gates rumbled. They suddenly widened and giant battleships came flying out of them. When Guo Ran saw the battleship at the front, he couldn't help sucking in a cold gasp of air. Boss, not good. It's the Luo clan's kinging battleship. Chapter 3606 This particular battleship was smaller than the others, only 30 miles long. Compared to these giant battleships that ranged in the hundreds of miles, it was tiny. However, when it appeared, a vast power shook the world, and ripples appeared in the space around it. Its pressure shook people's souls. The Kinging Battleship It was said that Liuo Kinging had forged this battleship herself. She was one of the three great grandmaster scholars of the old devil Starfield's forging history. Any Starfield had countless grandmasters. However, many of those so-called grandmasters were nothing more than fakes that took the name of grandmaster without having the skill. A true grandmaster was someone who had refined a skill to the point that those that came after them would have immense difficulty surpassing them. Such people were grandmasters. As for a grandmaster scholar, they were someone who had reached the pinnacle and then further pushed that path walking down a path that no one else had ever gone before. They created techniques worth establishing an entire sect over. Grandmasters were heirs who stood on the shoulders of those that had come before them, while grandmaster scholars were those that had created the path, allowing future generations to benefit endlessly. Thus, every single grandmaster scholar was a major figure whose name went down in history. Yuo Kinging was incredibly talented in forging. She reached the pinnacle at a young age and began creating inventions that others had never even imagined. It was precisely due to her that the human race 
went from being pushed to the brink of death by the old evil race to starting to fight back. However, Liuo Qingying died too early. She still had many innovations and ideas that were still fledgling prototypes. Some of the runes that she had planned and designed were incomprehensible to those that came after her. Just examining the notes that she left behind made people sight over the unimaginable gulf between the talented and the mediocre. It was said that Liu Qingying had a precious notebook recording many of her ideas that she had not managed to make a reality yet. This notebook was in the hands of the Liuo clan. In fact, it was even rumored that a portion of the Liuo clan's people had precisely betrayed and gotten Liuo Qingying killed for this notebook. It was only after they obtained the notebook that the Liuo clan realized that it was completely incomprehensible to them. The Liuo clan had actually caused Liuo Qingying's death for such a huge joke. Of course, these were just rumors that people couldn't confirm. After Liuo Qingying died, she left behind only two things, her Qingying battleship and the Qingying battle armor that she had once worn. The Qingying battle armor was essentially destroyed in the battle that caused her death. There were only some fragments left behind. However, her Qingying battleship was supposedly perfectly intact. The Qingying battleship was hidden in secret by the Liuo clan. Back then, the entire Old Devil Starfield's people had scoured the world for the Qingying battleship. Some people had even secretly conducted soul searches on the Liuo clan's people, even using all kinds of torture. But ultimately, they couldn't find even a single clue about the Qingying battleship. It was as if the Qingying battleship had vanished from the world. It was only when the Liuo clan once more betrayed the human race and sided with the old devil race that the Qingying battleship reappeared. It shook the entire human race. The Qingying battleship was said to be unrivaled. It was personally forged by Liuo Qingying and possessed terrifying destructive power. Any other battleship was like paper in front of it. The Qingying battleship's offense, defense, and speed were all unmatched. There had yet to be a single battleship that could match it in any regard. This battleship that had once terrified the old devil race now became the human race's nightmare. Thus, Guo Ran's expression instantly changed when he saw it. Search Novelune, come for the original. The Kinging battleship had just flown out of the spatial gate when its runes lit up. Guo Ran howled, Battleship 7, run! Oot! Yuo Ran's words had barely left his mouth before the Qingying battleship unleashed a light sword. After that, the battleship that Yuo Ran had named instantly exploded. All the experts on it were slain. The Qingying battleship's attack speed was too fast and didn't even give others a chance to dodge. Upon seeing this, everyone's heart sank. Just then... Endless battleships spread throughout the air, surrounding Long Chen and the others along with Clear Rain City. The Qingying battleship shot forward like a shooting star, striking another battleship. That battleship fled quickly, but still had a piece fly off of it. As a result, it fell from the sky, and the warriors on it immediately fled for their lives. Bows, Guo Ran panicked. He had never expected their first attack to cause the Liuo clan to directly take out their trump card, the Qingying battleship. The Qingying battleship now whistled straight toward the battleship that they were on. There were over a hundred battleships surrounding them. As for the Qingying battleship, it could simply smash through their three hundred battleships. It wouldn't just smash apart the battleships of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, but also smash apart the human race's will to resist. The human race needed a beautiful victory to raise their morale. But that was also their enemy's goal. They wanted to crush their confidence. They were using the Kinging battleship to display their unbeatable position, making them seem absolutely terrifying. The Kinging battleship was clearly capable of long-range attacks, but they arrogantly used it to directly smash into the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's battleships. 
On the other hand, all their battleships attacks had no effect on the kinging battleship at all. They merely caused some ripples and were unable to break its defenses. Ignorant fools! Resistance leads only to death. Today, don't blame my Luo clan for being ruthless. But don't be afraid. After you die, I will spread the images to the other fools who vainly wish to resist as well. I trust that they will make the right decision. Your deaths will lead the world to peace so you can die in peace. Ha ha ha! An arrogant laugh rang out from the top of the kinging battleship. The kinging battleship suddenly flew through a strange arc. Coming at the battleship Long Chen and Guo Ran were on from an inconceivable angle. When shooting people, first shoot their horse. When shooting bandits, first shoot their leader. You aren't much of a leader. At most, you can count as a little chieftain. But killing you should still have a decent effect, don't you think? It's like killing the chicken to warn the monkeys, sneered the same voice from the King Ying battleship. Buzz. Huo Ran looked at Long Chen. They had no counter for the King Ying battleship, and it was also too fast. If this continued, this battle would become a perfect performance for the other side. I'll handle it. Long Chen eyed the King Ying battleship. After that, a black dagger suddenly appeared in his hand, and golden dragon scales covered his arm. Just like that, he swung his hand, and the black dagger vanished. Long Chen then immediately unsheathed the Minghong Seder. Man and Saber together smashed toward the Kinging battleship like a bolt of lightning. Seeing Long Chen's actions, Zai Liur, Lang Hui, Zai Kian Qian, Tu Hu, and the others cried out in shock, throwing a person at the Kinging battleship. Was that no different than suicide? Even Gua Ran, the one who had blind confidence in Long Chen, had his heart rise up his throat. Countless eyes fell on Long Chen. At this moment, time seemed to move slowly. They saw Long Chen hold his saber in his right hand, while a flame lotus appeared in his left hand. His saber was held in front of him, while lightning gushed out from the bottom of his feet. Violet Kai wrapped around his entire body. He was like a whirling nail striking the Kinging battleship. Boot! The invincible Kinging battleship that could not be harmed by anything had a large hole forcibly pierced into it. Long Chen flew into the head of the battleship and out of its tail. Long Chen then put away the black dagger and looked back at the Kinging battleship that now had an extra hole in it. Explode! Chapter 3607 Bang! The kinging battleship trembled. The endless runes covering its body suddenly emitted a blinding light like a sun. Boom! In front of countless shocked and horrified gazes, this unmatched battleship exploded. The huge explosion shook the entire world, and all the mountains within millions of miles crumbled. The people on the battleship were instantly turned to dust and fragments of the battleship shot out in every direction like shooting stars, piercing the land and forming bottomless pits. After that, raging lava came gushing out of those holes. The world became a sea of fire. The Kinging battleship was destroyed, but Long Chen was shocked inside. He had used the mysterious dagger to pierce through its defenses. The materials that the battleship was made out of might be incomparably tough, but they were still as weak as tofu in front of this black dagger. The dagger was so sharp that nothing could stop it. If Long Chen hadn't shot after it, who knew how far the dagger would have flown? If it weren't for its hilt giving it some drag, Long Chen felt like this dagger could even pierce through this entire world. Its sharpness was just that terrifying. The Kinging battleship really was powerful. Long Chen put away the dagger. Looking at the ravaged land, he was shocked inside. When he had passed through the King Ying battleship, he had tossed the world extermination flame lotus into its core. He had thought that the attack would directly cause the King Ying battleship to explode. However, the world extermination flame lotus had only destroyed its core. It was not the direct cause of the explosion. 
The explosion was due to the destruction of the core, the resultant energy disbalance and the clash of opposing flows of energies were what caused it to explode. Although this world extermination flame lotus was not fully charged, the main thing was that the current Huel linger was far stronger. The power of this attack was almost equivalent to a full power attack from before she had entered the heavenly flame world. But even such a force exploding in the King Ying battleship's weakest part had not made it directly explode. That truly showed that the King Ying battleship's power was terrifying. Long Chen stood within the chaotic currents of raging flames. He was like a boulder within their midst, like a god overlooking the world. He possessed an indescribable calmness. As for the others on the battlefield, they were still stunned by this attack. The unmatched Kinging battleship had actually been destroyed. It took them a long time to recover from their shock. Zai Liyur, Leng Hui Tuhu, and the others were all dumbfounded. They could not believe that a person could possess such terrifying power. Boss is mighty and domineering. Brothers, the Kinging battleship has been beaten by Boss. The rest will be up to us. Continue your performance. Guo Ran shouted, directly leading the charge into the enemy battleships. After that, the Starry River warriors in their Starry River battle armors fearlessly charged at the enemy battleships. These battleships specialized in long-range attacks and wide-area attacks. Hence, other than the Kinging battleship, the rest of these battleships were not agile enough to dodge and get away. As soon as the Starry River warriors reached them, the battleships were doomed. The Starry River warriors crazily attacked the runes on the battleships. The enemy originally wanted to use the defensive prowess of these battleships to shade them to death, but the Starry River warriors had Starry River diagrams light up on their battle armors. In this state, these defenses were only able to knock them back occasionally without causing any true harm. As a result, the Starry River warriors rapidly broke down the runes of the battleships. Once they were worn down to a certain extent, they would leave, and the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's battleships would launch an attack that destroyed them. In the beginning, everyone's cooperation was rather messy as they were afraid of harming their own people. But after a while, the warriors got used to fighting together. The Sari River warriors took charge of breaking the runes on the enemy battleships, while the college's battleships took charge of transport and launching the killing blow at the end. As a result, the enemy battleships were destroyed one by one. The enemy had come with over a thousand battleships. Even without the Kinging battleship, they had an overwhelming advantage, but the Starry River warriors were just too fierce. As for Gua Ran, his armor had recovered during this time, so he entered the battlefield once more. He directed people's attacks, and with his addition, the college's warriors fought cleanly and methodically. In less than an hour, the enemy battleships were reduced to under 500. Ultimately, the remaining battleships could only flee. They had lost the majority of their battleships, while the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College only lost seven battleships. The disparity was immense. They had no choice but to flee. The spatial gates in the air had long since vanished. It wasn't that the other side had retracted them, but that there were time limits on them. Transporting such giant battleships rapidly used up the longevity of a spatial gate. Having transported so many battleships at once, these spatial gates had long since reached their limit and could no longer be used. If they wanted to use the spatial gates again, they would need to reconstruct them. However, constructing a spatial gate was not easy. It required a huge amount of energy, resources, and manpower. There was no way to reconstruct spatial channels on this scale without 10 to 15 days of work. Seeing these battleships fleeing, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's warriors chased them down, destroying them as they ran. After that, 
clear rain cities commoners let out huge cheers ever since the old devil star field was sealed people were living under a suppressive atmosphere the entire world seemed to have become darker however this victory revitalized clear rain city and even the entire human race of the old devil star field this was precisely what they had been thirsting for this victory parted the mist allowing them to see sunlight to see hope this kind of emotion could not be described with words all throughout the city people were cheering some even held their heads and wept from emotion that was because during this time it had only been the human race taking losses many of their experts had died in battle it wasn't just clear rain cities commoners cheering the heavenly dragon divine armor college's disciples were also letting out beast-like roars the sullenness that they had been suppressing in their hearts for so long was fully released this was a beautiful victory the opening act of the human race's counterattack it cleared away the human race's humiliation this was also the human race's first major victory ever since the hanging era ever since liuo king ying died and xia yuhong left the human race no longer saw any hope people all felt that the human race would be suppressed by the all devil race it was like the punishment of the heavens for their foolishness when you're just trying to make great content at Navaloon Calm, although Luo King Ying's death was caused by the Luo clan's traitors, people had also suspected Zayek Yuhong before that, thinking that he had his own motives. The people who smeared his name were not just from the Luo clan. The entire human race was blinded by the prophet that was right in front of them, and their conscience was quiet in front of that greed that was what resulted in xia yuhong leaving thinking back on it this was their own sin there was nothing that they could say even though they now wanted to admit their sins liuo king ying was already dead and xia yuhong would never come back they would ultimately have to pay the painful price for their own foolishness when people saw that figure with a saber on his back and his black robes fluttering around him his calm and easy appearance reminded them of Xia Yuhong, that peerless hero whose light had encompassed the world superimposed on top of Long Chen, letting them see endless hope. Chapter 3608 Just as everyone was cheering, the void shuddered, and countless battleships came out from every direction, causing everyone to jump. Clear Rain City, don't be alarmed. We came to help you. A voice rang out. At this moment, thousands of battleships were whistling over, floating above Clear Rain City. After that, people began walking out of them. It can be hard to make great work when it's stolen from Novel Loon, come Old City Lord. My apologies. My Luoli City came late. Our Heavenly River sect immediately gathered our troops and moved out when we received the signal. I didn't expect to still be one step too late. Fortunately, the heavens have protected Clear Rain City. Otherwise, not even 10,000 deaths would let me rest in peace. All these elders apologized to the city lord with ashamed expressions. They were all late state world kings, the leaders of the various powers. What are you staring at? Are you blind? We didn't make it in time to kill the enemies, so hurry up and help clean up the battlefield, barked one of the elders at a disciple behind him. The expressions of the heavenly dragon divine armor college's disciples changed when they heard that. These people couldn't be seen during the fight, but they came now to take the spoils of war. If they were allowed to go through the battlefield, who knew how many treasures would end up falling into their pockets? Scram. Anyone who dares to touch anything on this battlefield better not blame my saber for being merciless, said Long Chen coldly. Who are you? How brazen, shouted one elder darkly. The city lord hastily made introductions. Sept master he, this is Long Chen. He who I am isn't important. What is important is that I'm not as shameless as you lot. 
You were hiding in the dark during the battle and only pretended to be late once the battle was won. Could it be that your life's cultivation base was spent on tempering this thick face of yours? Scram back to wherever you came from, said Long Chen coldly once more. Just who was Long Chen? He had experienced and seen these kinds of people often. These old fellows had shamelessly come to take advantage of them. Little fellow, you're quite brazen. You dare to be so rude to sect, master, he a disciple behind that elder angrily pointed, and cursed at Long Chen. Long Chen also pointed at him, and a lightning arrow pierced the disciple's head. He didn't even make a sound as he collapsed, dead. You. The elders were all shocked and enraged that Long Chen would kill this disciple. Shut your mouths. Scram. This place does not welcome you, shouted Long Chen. You. Your heavenly dragon divine armor college is talking bait hot. Do you think that you can fight the entire old devil race by yourselves? Exactly. You want us to scram? Fine, then we're leaving. We'll wait for the day that you kneel and beg for our aid. Several experts roared furiously at Long Chen. They were all major figures within their own sects, people with face and status. Long Chen was insulting them by telling them to scram. In truth, when these people received the distress signal from Clear Rain City, they became cautious. They then stealthily slipped over to the outskirts and hid themselves. They were waiting for others to make the first move and wanted to see the situation first. If the situation took a turn for the worse, they would silently leave as if they hadn't come in the first place. They would only appear once their side had the advantage. Sending charcoal in the snow? Impossible. But being decorations on something that was already perfect to get some benefits was their specialty. According to the unwritten rules of the old Evil Star Field, as long as someone came to help, they would get a part of the battle spoils on the battlefield. But Long Chen didn't care about those rules. He directly exposed their true motive, humiliating them and enraging them. Kill him, said Long Chen coldly. At some point, a refined crossbow appeared in Guo Ran's hand. An arrow then shot out killing the elder instantly. What? These elders were all shocked. Seeing this scene, all the experts from that elder's side summoned their battle armors. Their battleships rumbled as they entered combat state. If anyone dares to make a rash move, kill them all, ordered Long Chen. The heavenly dragon divine armor college's battleships also turned toward them, and the battle armors on the warriors shone brightly once more. They stood behind Long Ten, their killing intent still raging. The Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's disciples had just experienced a major victory, so their morale was still high and their killing intent had yet to be quenched. Just the sight of them terrified these elders. Just now, Long Chen had destroyed the famous Kanging battleship in one blow, reversing the tides and obtaining a grand victory. As a result, the disciples of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College now looked at Long Chen like he was a god. A peerless expert was always an idol with countless worshippers. In this world where experts were revered, they possessed boundless charisma. Thus, it didn't matter who the other side was. With this order from Long Chen, these disciples wouldn't hesitate to kill them. Have you gone mad? You're going to start a slaughter between us, shouted one elder, quivering with rage. Mr. Long Chen. The city lord was also dumbfounded. They had just obtained a victory, but Long Chen suddenly wanted to cause an internal battle. Long Chen waved his hand, cutting off the city lord. After that, his gaze swept through the crowd. Looking at the leaders of these forces that were shocked and enraged, he snorted. Remember these words of mine. Starting today, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College is leading this war. This is not a discussion. This is based on how we dared to stand up in the face of danger, that we dared to jump into a trap, 
at we placed clear rain cities commoners lives as the number one priority despite the battlefield situation being unknown cowardly tortoises like yourselves that only watched secretly and waited to see which side to leap on have no input on anything when there's danger you run when there's profit you surround it like hyenas you have the face to demand anything from me now absolute nonsense we were shut up long chen roared it was like thunder splitting heaven and earth shaking the world his voice contained a supreme will that could not be disobeyed as a result everyone's ears were shaken by this roar and their souls quivered they had never experienced such a terrifying will they then stared at long chen in horror long chen pointed at those elders and icily said if you dare to swear on your ancestral heroic spirits that you didn't do this then i'll take it back if any one of you dares to swear such a thing come out if i wrongly accused you i long chen will cut off my own head right now as an apology long chen's voice surged through the battlefield like thunder it was overflowing with righteousness and these elders were speechless under this pressure no one dared to swear by their ancestral heroic spirits lying in that situation would definitely cause a heavenly dow backlash furthermore it wouldn't just be a backlash on them but also on all their descendants in that case their entire family might be thrown into danger seeing him remain silent the heavenly dragon divine armor college's disciples looked at them scornfully long chen tore off their lies and it was truly satisfying following long chen they felt an arrogant pride as if they were heroes looking down on the rest of the world let's go this group of people ultimately left with a gloomy expression the offensive troops are in charge of cleaning up the battlefield you must finish within two hours defensive troops set up the transportation formation all the commoners of clear rain city are to be brought back to the heavenly dragon domain and found proper arrangements as soon as long chen gave his orders everyone got to work the heavenly dragon divine armor college's disciples all worked hard in just a short six hours the battlefield was cleaned up and the commoners were all sent away when long chen and the others returned to the heavenly dragon divine armor college in the battleships they were met with tens of thousands of uninvited guests chapter three thousand six hundred nine the heavenly dragon divine armor college's plaza was packed with tens of thousands of experts wearing different robes the higher ups of the college had also come so the plaza contained almost all the leaders of the entire all devil starfield's human race within it zu yifen was also present within this giant plaza everyone else was standing and only zu yifen and eight other elders were seated tens of thousands of late stage world kings were silently standing there all of them with dark expressions not one person was smiling so the atmosphere was a bit heavy when long chen gyu ran and the others arrived those experts sharp gazes pierced toward them those gazes were cold arrogant and mocking to sum it up they weren't very friendly guo ran couldn't help getting nervous when he saw so many gazes he was originally shoulder to shoulder with long chen but he subconsciously lagged behind one step when he was behind long chen he felt much steadier and the pressure was relieved as for long chen himself he didn't show the slightest reaction to the gazes of tens of thousands of experts he had fought on the battlefield his entire life having seen and experienced so many things he thought that this was just a small lineup furthermore just from their gazes long chen could easily deduce their motive in coming search novel loom come for the original dean long chen dean guo ran congratulations on your absolute victory you have finally won a battle for our human race zu yifen stood when long chen and guo ran arrived he laughed and cupped his fists at them seeing this amicable greeting from zu yifen 
Long Chen instantly had absolute confidence. This old dean still had absolute control despite not doing anything himself. He was leaving this performance to him, and Kyo ran. Dean, you are too courteous. It was nothing more than a minor victory, not worth mentioning. However, some shameless allies did open my eyes to the world. Who knew that people were so shameless nowadays? Long Chen smiled and replied to Zhu Yifin before acting like he was seeing the huge crowd for the first time. Oh, things are pretty lively today. What's going on? Why would so many people come to our heavenly dragon divine armor college? Is there an important matter to discuss? Yes, there is. I heard that you were so bold as to say that the heavenly dragon divine armor college was going to lead this war. This old man truly wishes to know where you got such courage to say such big words, said a sharp-faced elder sitting together with Zhu Yifen. Dean Long Chen, Dean Yua Ran, come take a seat for now. Let us sit and talk. Zhu Yifen smiled and had people bring over two more chairs. How are they qualified to sit alongside us? They are nothing more than two brats. The breast milk smell has yet to fade away from them. Zhu Yifen, have you grown muddled with old age? One of the elders who had had his eyes closed in quiet meditation darkly spoke. Before this, Guo Ran would definitely be enraged. But now he didn't feel much from that. In any case, his boss was here. What hole did this tortoise crawl out of? Who do you think you are? Have you grown tired of living? Do you want to use me to send you on your way? Asked Long Chen disdainfully. Brett, you are courting death. The elder's eyes flew open, and a sharp killing intent locked onto Long Chen. Dean Long Chen, let me introduce you. This is the Celestial Essence Sect's patriarch, a mighty half-step divine venerate. You two will need to get acquainted, smiled the dean. A half-step divine venerate. That was definitely in existence on the same level as the dean. Long Chen had previously guessed that the dean was a divine venerate, but because his aura felt a bit weak, Long Chen didn't dare to be sure. Long Chen had only truly met two divine venerates, Dong Fang Zichu and Ziyag Yu Hong. He remembered Dong Fang Zichu's aura. It was vast like a sea and made people feel reverence. He was an existence that they could only look up to. As for Ziyag Yu Hong, his aura was reserved, making it difficult for him to sense. Long Chen knew that Ziyag Yu Hong was very terrifying because Ziyag Yu Hong's mental will was incomparably strong. Of all the experts that Long Chen had encountered, the strongest should be Wu Tian. His aura was as unfathomable as a cosmos. Long Chen didn't know what realm that was, perhaps it was the late-stage divine venerate realm, or perhaps it was even higher. After encountering Zhu Yifen, Long Chen also sensed the aura of a divine venerate on him, but the pressure was clearly lacking. Let alone comparing it to Ziyag Yuhong or Dong Feng Zichu, it was lacking even compared to the Blood Hill Halls in Kuda and the Nine Underworld Halls, Lio Benkeng. However, Long Chen knew that the Old Devil Star Fields experts pursued forging techniques, causing their actual power to be weaker. Thus, Long Chen's estimate was that the Dean might be a divine venerate. But now, he knew that the Old Devil Star Fields human race didn't have a divine venerate. It was only because there weren't any divine venerates that these half-step bastards were qualified to be so arrogant. So this is the Celestial Essence Sect's patriarch. I've long since looked forward to. Long Chen laughed and walked toward the elder. To tell you to fuck off. Just as everyone saw Long Chen laughing and saying such nice words, making them think that he was going over to apologize, Long Chen kicked the elder in his chest, making him tumble back. The elder then coughed up blood and cracks covered his body. With a furious howl, he summoned his battle armor, but at the next moment, a black dagger cut through the air. With a splash, 
that Elder's head flew off of his body and fell in Long Chen's hand. Everyone was stunned. Now those elders were terrified. They shot up from their seats and created some distance between them and Long Chen. The Celestial Essence Sect's Patriarch's battle armor was an inherited one. It was the most famous battle armor within the entire Old Devil Star Field. But even in it, his head was cut off in a single blow, which terrified these half-step divine venerates. The others were ashen. They had received word that the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College would be leading this war. That meant that all other sects and powers had to listen to the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's orders. It had to be known that while the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College was an enormous existence within the Old Evil Star Field in terms of pure fighting power, they only ranked fifth. When this news spread, the other powers were egged on by certain people, and came to watch the reaction. As for the four powers that ranked above them, they sent people with the intention of demanding an explanation. This patriarch of the Celestial Essence sect in particular was very angry with it. That was because in terms of battleships, battle armors, and the number of experts, the Celestial Essence sect was number one. Hence, he was naturally displeased when he heard this news, and directly came with everyone else to demand an explanation from the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. This old fellow might be old and smart, but he was still within Zhu Yifen's calculations. Zhu Yifen introduced them, and then Long Chen directly took out his weapon. Old tortoise of the Celestial Essence sect, tell me, are you tired of living? If you are, I'll kill you right now as an offering to the heavens. I've heard that in the ancient era, people offered the six domestic animals as a sacrifice to the heavens before big battles to pray for victory. I feel like you're not a bad sacrifice. You should be worth at least one full sacrifice, said Long Chen darkly, staring at the patriarch's head. Chapter 3610 Everyone was dumbfounded. Whether it was the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's experts or the others that had come, they were horrified by this scene. They didn't even dare to breathe. It had to be known that the Patriarch of the Celestial Essence sect was a supreme existence that countless people looked up to. Moreover, the Celestial Essence sect was the Old Devil Star Field's number one sect. However, Long Chen actually dared to cut off their Patriarch's head. Just how brazen was he? Boss, you misspoke. The so-called six domestic animals refer to the horse, bull, sheep, pig, chicken, and dog. A tortoise isn't part of it. At most, it can only count for one chicken. As for the rest, Gyua Ran suddenly corrected Long Chen. You mean that he's not even worth a pig or a dog? Asked Long Chen. He he, that's pretty much it. Gyuo Ran nodded. The two of them played off of each other perfectly, clearly insulting the patriarch. But the patriarch's life was in Long Chen's hands, so the atmosphere was far too tense for anyone to dare to laugh. They simply stared at Long Chen in horror. Long Chen, what are you doing? Hurry up and release. Gyuo Ran was standing right beside this speaking elder and directly slapped him in the face interrupting him. Is my boss's name something that you can just shout? Don't forget your manners. This is Dean Long Chen. The elder staggered back. Even a half-step divine venerate when caught off guard, with his weak physical body, still tumbled to the ground from this slap. By the time he crawled back up furiously and put on his battle armor, Yuo Ran was already hiding behind Long Chen. He arrogantly said, Old fellow, if you want to die, then come. Let's see if my boss will cut off your head or not. Yun. That elder was enraged, but he didn't dare to charge forward because Long Chen was absolutely terrifying. Even now, they had no idea how he had cut off the celestial essence sect patriarch's head. What, Yun? Shut your ass. If my boss wants to kill someone... Not even the heavens can protect them. Who do you think you are? Just stand right there. 
said Guo Ran disdainfully as he stood behind Long Chen. In any case, with Long Chen present, Guo Ran had no fears. Having slapped a half-step divine venerate expert, he was in an excellent mood. It was like he had reached the peak of his life. Zai Liur, Lang Hui, Zai Kainki, and Tu Hu and the others' eyes almost popped out of their heads. Was this the same Guo Ran that they knew? He even dared to beat up a sect master, an existence that even their dean had to be respectful toward. However, thinking of how long Chen had cut off the head of the celestial essence sect's patriarch, this little action of Guo Ren's truly didn't seem to be much. Find the original at Novel Loon, calm these people looked at each other. They had now borne witness to what it meant to be unbridled, what it meant to be incomparably domineering. The head of the celestial essence sect's patriarch was in Long Chen's hand. As long as Long Chen unleashed the slightest spurt of divine energy, then even if the patriarch had a hundred lives, he would be losing them here. His life was in Long Chen's hands, so he didn't dare to make any rash moves. However, to have him beg for mercy, it was impossible. His expression was extremely ugly. Navalun, come Zhu Yifen, this is the disciple that your heavenly dragon divine armor college raised, shouted one elder. No, you misunderstand. Dean Long Chen is not a disciple of the heavenly dragon divine armor college. He comes from the number one academy of the nine heavens and ten lands, the high firmament academy. He is the dean of the High Firmament Academy's seventh branch. My Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College is also a branch of the High Firmament Academy, so in terms of seniority and relationship, we are on the same level, and I cannot possibly order around Dean Long Chen. Zhu Yifen shook his head, seemingly once more becoming a kindly elder. He no longer appeared to be a domineering master in control of everything. When Zhu Yifen reported Long Chen's status, those old fellows were startled. The High Firmament Academy was the oldest academy in the immortal world. Everyone knew of it. They were unable to imagine how such a youngster could become the dean of a branch of this ancient academy. Long Chen, what do you want? Are you really going to kill me? demanded the Celestial Essence Sect's patriarch coldly. Although his tone was very icy, everyone could hear the fear in it. Normally, he would say, Do you really dare to kill me? Not are you really going to kill me? He didn't dare to further antagonize Long Chen. I don't want to kill you. It was you who felt yourself to be such a badass that you wanted to put me in my place, so I had to give you a lesson. I know that you came to show off and establish your prestige, but you won't be establishing anything today. I have been entrusted by Dean Zhu Yifen to handle this matter, so I will naturally handle it properly. I will lead the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's disciples to unprecedented glory. As for the rest of you, if you want to follow me, then you can follow. If you don't want to, then I won't force you. But don't try to drag me down. I will not stand on courtesy. Although I am young, I have spent a lifetime fighting enemies from all directions. From the mortal world to the immortal world, I've stepped over mountains of corpses and crossed seas of blood. I've killed more life forms than you've ever seen. So I am not some kind saint. Anyone who dares to block my path will be eliminated without hesitation. If you want to try it, I will accompany you at any moment. Long Chen looked over at everyone. Long Chen calmly said such domineering words, shaking people's hearts. Zai Liuer, Leng Hui, and the others were even more shocked. Long Chen's innate arrogance and domineeringness shook everyone. There was not a single person who dared to question his words. Long Chen then let go of the patriarch's head after saying this, and it flew back to his body. As a half step divine venerate expert, reattaching his head was effortless. The patriarch's body was restored, but the mark that remained at the neck of his battle armor was a horrifying sight. 
The cut was extremely thin and perfect. People were unable to imagine just what kind of weapon could possibly be so sharp. It practically surpassed their imagination. The celestial essence sect's patriarch regained his freedom, but his expression grew extremely dark. Flames almost exploded out of his eyes when he looked at Long Chen. Since I dare to release you, I dare to kill you as well. If you don't submit, I welcome you to test me. As long as you don't cherish your old life, I will accompany you, said Long Chen indifferently. Everyone looked at the patriarch. They saw his expression change several times, but ultimately, he didn't dare to attack. All right, count yourself vicious. I refuse to believe that your heavenly dragon divine armor college can do anything in this war without our help. Do you think that with just your college's power, you can fight the Liuo clan's traitorous army and the entire old devil race? Keep dreaming, sneered the celestial essence sect's patriarch. That's right. Without our aid, you want your heavenly dragon divine armor college to fight the human race's enemies alone? What a wild fantasy, sneered another half-stack divine venerate elder. HMPH, when the heavens are wild, there is a storm. When humans are wild, calamity descends. Youngsters are ultimately still youngsters. Let's just see how long you can keep acting so wild. We're leaving. The celestial essence sect's patriarch snorted coldly and waved his hand. He turned to leave. Starry River warriors, capture this old fellow. Long Chen snorted and directly gave his response. Following his order, 300 Starry River warriors immediately responded by charging directly at the Celestial Essence Sect's Patriarch. Chapter 3611 Following Long Chen's order, 300 Starry River warriors threw themselves at the Celestial Essence Sect's Patriarch and directly launched their strongest attacks. Even in the face of a half steck D. Ivine venerate like the Patriarch, they were fearless. Courting death, the Patriarch roared furiously. He had been humiliated by Long Chen, and now this group of rookie divine lords actually dared to attack him. Hence, his fury soared. Thai, oh, the Patriarch is full power erupted. As the runes around him were activated to their maximum power, his blade swept out, striking all the Starry River warriors. As a result, the three hundred Starry River warriors were sent tumbling back. However, what shocked people was that the Patriarch also grunted and was blown back as well. What the... Everyone was shocked by this. It had to be known that the Patriarch's battle armor was one of the ten strongest battle armors of the entire All Devil Star feel. When he was wearing it, he had the power to challenge a true divine venerate. However, even this full power attack only ended up on par with three hundred divine lords. What kind of situation was that? The three hundred starry river warriors instantly stabilized themselves and charged back, surrounding the patriarch. Stop! Long Chen suddenly shouted. The patriarch stared in shock and rage. Just as he was about to attack again, Long Chen ordered the starry river warriors to stop. With that order, those warriors instantly returned to their camp. They appeared to be nothing more than ordinary divine lords, but they simply returned to their side calmly as if nothing had happened. People looked from those disciples to the celestial essence sect's patriarch. In the end, their gazes all fell on Long Chen. Every single one of them was filled with shock. Old fellow, you asked me how long I could act wild. I just want to tell you that if I was really acting wild, you would already be buried in the ground. The ones to attack just now are our heavenly dragon divine armor college's starry river warriors. Your armor is damaged, resulting in your combat power being less than half of your normal peak. Since that's the case, I couldn't be bothered to put you in your place, so I was planning on having the starry river warriors do it. But they are the future pillars of the human race, arrows who will enter the annals of history. 
I don't want them to be known as experts that bullet an old, weak man. Well, that's all. There's nothing else for you here. Scram. Long Chen flapped his hand at him apathetically, both verbally and physically telling him to scram. He then turned back to the other experts and announced, Everyone, you've seen the power of the Starry River Warriors. In just a few days, we were capable of raising 300 Starry River Warriors. As time passes, we'll raise 3 million, and then 30 million. I ask you now, is my heavenly dragon divine armor college qualified to lead this war? Upon hearing this, everyone's heart pounded wildly. Although the Starry River warriors had only unleashed a single attack, they were actually capable of blocking the full power of the Celestial Essence Sect's Patriarch. That was more than sufficient to show just how terrifying these disciples were. At the same time, they understood that Long Chen had used that Patriarch as a testing stone, as proof for everyone of the power of the Starry River warriors. The Patriarch's expression grew even uglier, but he was also shocked. Just what method was the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College using to raise such terrifying warriors? A group of divine lords possessed power practically on par with world kings. Everyone was silent. Long Chen lightly said, The Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College doesn't like to fight with the rest of the world. We initially didn't wish to make such a stand. However, the other powers are truly disappointing. They refused to stand out, instead choosing to be wise and protect themselves, only looking after their own hide. But you don't realize that as time passes, our enemies grow stronger, and our opportunities in this war dwindle. They are pressuring the human race from the outside and sowing discord on the inside, constantly grinding away at the human race's will to fight. As time passes, the human race's chances of victory will shrink. I trust that everyone is not so foolish as to not be aware of this. But all of you refuse to take the risk because whoever stands out first will become the number one target of the Yuo clan and the old devil race. A quick look at Na the Loon Calm will leave you more fulfilled. They will push themselves to the heart of the violent tempest. Since you are all cowards, my heavenly dragon divine armor college has no choice but to stand out and carry this burden. If you wish to join us, we will welcome you. Those who can fight shoulder to shoulder with us are life and death, brothers. If you don't join us and instead choose to just watch as both sides exhaust themselves fighting each other, that's up to you. That is your right. But if we are the ultimate victors, those who didn't participate in the battle will have no relation with any of the resources of the All Devil Star Field. And if you instead choose to embrace our enemies, it will be even simpler. In front of our enemies, we have only one attitude, and that is to slaughter them to the last. Long Chen's severe expression caused people to feel a chill in their bones, especially his last few words. They were filled with a bloody flavor and almost let them see the call of death. Those who join us will have the immortal world's secret art, the starry river of the sky art, transmitted to them freely. As for whether or not you can learn, it will be up to your good fortune, continued Long Chen. The starry river of the sky art, the cultivation technique that is said to be able to draw in astral energy, exclaimed a half-step divine venerate. Correct, said Long Chen. In other words, these starry river warriors. Another half-step divine venerate eyed the starry river warriors. That's right. They are cultivators of the starry river of the sky art. They have condensed the starry river manifestation and have their own personal star diagrams, becoming starry river warriors, said Long Chen. An uproar exploded amongst the crowd. They stared in disbelief at the Starry River Warriors. These Starry River Warriors were overflowing with pride as they were eyed by these experts. They had gone from ordinary disciples to existences that could move the masters of major sects. 
Dean Long Chen, are you really going to share the starry river of the sky art freely? According to what this old man knows, the starry river of the sky art is extremely famous with shocking origins, asked another hex-step divine venerate. This arrogant elder now called Long Chen Dean, their entire attitude had completely changed. Remember, I am Long Chen and I have always disdained lying. These Starry River Warriors are the first batch that I raised. There will be a second batch and a third batch in the future. All human experts will be allowed to register regardless of sect, family, status, position, gender, and background. Our time is very precious, and I want to raise a batch of true experts as quickly as possible. As long as you are willing to join us and swear that you will never betray the human race, you can send out any disciples that you pick out to learn the starry river of the sky art. I will carve the diagram of the starry river of the sky art on the plaza so that anyone can come and cultivate it, said Long Chen. These words once more move these old fellows. The reputation of the starry river of the sky art was so resounding that even in the old devil star field, these old fellows had heard of it. They knew the terrifying power of this cultivation technique. At the same time, they were extremely enticed by the immense power shown by the Starry River Warriors. The world's human race was originally one family. They never should have fractured. Whoever has the power to lead should be the leader, and there is no reason to fight over this position. My celestial essence sect has no objection. What no one had expected was for the Celestial Essence Sect's Patriarch to be the first to declare his position. Chapter 3612 Brother Chang Xiang truly is worthy of being the master of a sect. For the big picture, he won't quibble with a member of the junior generation. This magnanimity is something that I admire, said Zhu Yifen with a laugh. The Celestial Essence Sect's Patriarch actually recognized his mistake. So Zhu Yifen directly gave him a way to save face. This way, he wouldn't be looked down on by the junior generation. The times make the man. I've grown old and can no longer judge people accurately. A defeat is a defeat. There's nothing to say about it. The old devil star field should be the land of the young. If a position should be yielded, then it should be yielded, said the celestial essence sect's patriarch, shaking his head. These words moved countless people. Before this, they had thought that this old man had a bad temper and was obstinate. They hadn't expected him to reflect because of this humiliation. This was definitely something that not many people were capable of. Even Long Chen was surprised. When Long Chen first saw this old fellow, he knew that the latter was a stubborn old man someone who wouldn't change his mind about something even if he was beaten to death. Hence, Long Chen hadn't expected him to actually admit to his mistake. That actually made Long Chen feel a bit bad about his actions. I was rude. Senior, please don't take offense at what I did, said Long Chen. What offense? I was acting like a boss, but I was unable to lift this burden. I then felt bad having someone else lift it instead. Can someone with a narrow heart accomplish anything big? Even now, I'm still lost in the glory of back when I was lucky enough to follow Senior Zia Guang. When people grow old, they always think of their past glory, sighed the patriarch, shaking his head. So Senior was one of Big Brother Zia Guang's followers? Asked Long Chen in surprise. You, you know Senior Yu Hong? Now it was the patriarch's turn to be surprised. This novel is available on Novel Loon. Come, he is my big brother. He is one of the people I respect the most. Long Chen. Damn, why didn't you say so earlier? If I knew that you are brothers with Senior Yu Hong, why would I oppose you? I even lost all my face because of it. The patriarch was vexed. This old fellow was actually someone from the same era as Zia Guhong. He had been one of the warriors in Zia Guhong's devil-slaying legion, so he felt utmost worship for Zia Guhong. 
Yu after Liuo Qingying was slain, and Zayed Yuang charged into the devil world, Zayed Yuang never sent back any word. No news of him ever appeared again, so the devil slaying legion was disbanded. Back then, the patriarch was depressed for a long time. He later had a lucky encounter, and his cultivation base soared. He then founded the Celestial Essence sect and became its patriarch. He was naturally aloof and antisocial, thinking that other than Zai Yuhong, in the current world, he was the one who had made the most contributions to the old devil star field. Thus, he always viewed himself as the boss of the old devil star field. After a long time, he truly did become the leading figure of the old devil star field. However, when the enemy army attacked, he didn't want to fight them head on, and yet he was also unable to think of any good way of fighting them. As a result, when the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College announced that they would lead this war, he viewed it as a provocation toward him, and then he came here. Now that he learned that Long Chen had such a relationship with Xia Yuhong, he was angered and delighted. He was angered that Long Chen hadn't said so earlier, causing him to lose space. And he was delighted to know that Xia Yuhong was still alive. With the patriarch expressing his attitude, the others also assented. To have their disciples train in the starry river of the sky art with no conditions was practically an unimaginable blessing. They didn't quite understand Long Chen's thought process. When they thought about it, if Long Chen wanted to lead the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College to dominate the Old Devil Star Field, if he only waited ten years and raised a giant group of Starry River warriors, just who in the human race would dare to defy him? However, instead, Long Chen was sharing this powerful Starry River of the Sky art with all of them. Just what was the point of that? They were unable to tell. However, there was one thing that they were clear on. If they didn't join the side of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College, their disciples wouldn't be able to cultivate the Starry River of the Sky Art. Then there would be a huge difference between their sects and other sects, and they would rapidly fall behind. If they chose to just watch, although Long Chen had said that he wouldn't make things hard on them, if the human race won, someone would definitely come to settle accounts with them later. Moreover, the Celestial Essence sect was the number one sect in the Old Devil Star Field. Even after suffering such a humiliation, the Patriarch was willing to directly join them. So why would the others hesitate? They immediately began to express that they were willing to join. Long Chen, you have to keep your eyes open. Some people definitely have some relationships with the Liuo clan. I don't have the power to keep track of them, so you have to be careful. Many people that join might not necessarily stand on the side of the human race. They are only coming for the starry river of the sky art, said the patriarch of the celestial essence sect suddenly. Quite a few people's expressions grew slightly unnatural when he said this. Long Chen simply smiled and said, It's fine. Since I dare to do this, I have my own confidence. Everyone only needs to remember two things. First, I, Long Chen, have always disdained lying. Second, I never renege on my words. I don't care what kind of attitude you come with. There are many times in which life is a gamble. If you win the gamble, you will skyrocket. If you lose, you will never be able to recover. We know nothing about the future. No one knows whether their gamble is correct or not. But once you have gambled, you bear the responsibility of paying the price. Since you are willing to join us, you must swear to never betray the human race. That is enough. If you betray this oath, your tribulation will come even faster than you imagine. Long Chen's voice was very calm and contained immense confidence. The calmness as if everything was within his control, moved even the elders on the same level of seniority as Zhu Yifen. No wonder you are qualified to be brothers with Senior Guong. Could then I, Zhao Changsang, will once more risk these old bones of mine? 
My only regret is that I don't see a single one of my brothers that fought alongside me back then. Well, that's fine. I will take their place on the battlefield, ha ha ha. The celestial essence sect's patriarch laughed. Although he was already old, his sharpness had not dropped. In truth, this old man had a bad temper, but his character wasn't bad. He was someone with a sense of responsibility. That was what made Long Chen feel bad. It seemed that beheading him was a bit too rude. Kyo Ran also felt a bit bad and looked at the half-step divine venerate that he had slacked. Seeing that the latter wasn't even looking at him, he felt a bit better. Starting today, the devil-slaying legion is once more assembling. Guo Ran will be the general, and there will be eight captains beneath the general. These captains have yet to be chosen. Anyone who can condense the starry sky manifestation and become a starry river warrior can compete for one of these eight spots. The various sects, families, and powers can all recommend their divine lords to come cultivate the starry river of the sky art. Within one month, I want to create a starry river legion of a hundred thousand starry river warriors, said Long Chen. Dean Long Chen, why only divine lords? Why not immortal kings? asked one person. Immortal kings can also cultivate this technique. However, they have missed their golden period. The difficulty is a hundred times greater than that for a divine lord. One mistake and the backlash will take their lives, so it is much more dangerous. As for four peak disciples, their physical bodies are too tender. Their foundations can easily be harmed by the backlash, so it is not recommended for them to cultivate it. Divine lords are the perfect level for cultivating it. Even if they cannot manage to cultivate the technique successfully as long as they do not forcibly try to condense the manifestation, there isn't much danger, explained Long Chen. Everyone nodded. They could understand these principles. However, some immortal kings refused to accept it just like that, and were preparing to secretly test it. Other than that, I have something very important to announce here to everyone. Long Chen looked over everyone gravely. When you go back, all the major powers must pull out the spies within your ranks. Chapter 3613 Pull Out the Spies Everyone was dumbfounded. Spies were always the most hateful existence of the human race. But not a single sect dared to say that there were no spies within their ranks. That was especially true with the Luo clan's secret interference. No one knew just how many people amongst them had been bought. Furthermore, under the enticing and pressure of the Luo clan, quite a few people had been openly pulled over to their side. Those people almost took up a full tenth of the human race. The Liuo clan's seductions and the power of the old devil race made a part of the human race no longer able to see any hope. Hence, they took advantage of while they still had some value to switch sides. Once those people turned their bloody blades on the human race, the human race's hearts were no longer steady. No one knew who was in collusion with the Liuo clan. This was why the various major powers didn't dare to make any rash moves. They were afraid of the spies within their own ranks. Once they took the first step, they might become the number one target of the old devil race. The latter might pay any price to wipe them out. This will probably be very difficult, said the Celestial Essence Sect's patriarch. Correct, it will be difficult. After all... We don't have the skills of Dean Yifid. We can't pull out all our spies like that, said another half-step divine venerate. Long Chen smiled slightly. I won't make things hard on you. When you return to your homes, gather the higher-ups for a meeting. Simply tell them that the devil-slaying legion is being assembled once more and the human race's counterattack is beginning. If they are spies and admit to it now, they can simply leave. If they wait until they are ferreted out, their only end will be death. Just that. Everyone was dumbfounded. What was the point of this? 
people weren't fools who would actually step forward and admit to it. If these words didn't come from Long Chen's mouth, they would definitely have cursed the speaker. Long Chen nodded. Just that. What's the point? Ask someone. The point is that when we kill them in the future, we won't feel any burden on our conscience. We already gave them a chance, and they didn't grasp it. They can't blame anyone else then, said Long Chen indifferently. Seeing all of their lost expressions, Long Chen continued, Let me put it to you this way. Advise them to stand out themselves to give them a chance to live. I, Long Chen, have killed too many life forms to even remember in my life. However, I always give others a chance to live. If they can grasp that chance, they can live. If they can't grasp it, then I will simply take it as even. The heavens want that person to die, so killing them is simply the will of the heavens. When the real battle erupts, I will do soul searches on the Luo clan's higher ups. At that time, all those spies will be exposed. When I destroyed the Kinging battleship, it didn't leave any of the higher-ups available to be captured. It wasn't because I didn't have the power to capture them alive, but simply to give a chance to those people who are undecided. Of course, if you really hate the spies amongst your ranks, you don't have to do this. But when the list of spies is exposed, I will not permit anyone to beg for mercy for them. Otherwise, I will kill that person along with the spies. Remember, I'm only giving you ten days. After ten days, all spies are to be executed. Looking at Long Chen's confident appearance, everyone's heart was shaken. Just what gave him the confidence to say such words? They felt a certain kind of kingly air from him, one they had never felt before. All his words were unbelievable, and yet they didn't dare to doubt him. Long Chen's orders were given. So everyone, including the Patriarch of the Celestial Essence sect, immediately left for their own sects to get to work. After they left, Long Chen gathered his people. He then directly carved a giant star diagram on the plaza and wrote down a detailed explanation. This was an explanation on how to cultivate the starry river of the sky art in a step-by-step -step process. After that, he summoned the 300 Starry River warriors and once more demonstrated the principles of the Starry River of the Sky art to them. He then pointed out some easy to make mistakes. As he explained these things, the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College's people watched closely. There were some people whose only task was recording his explanation with photographic jades. During this time, Long Chen personally demonstrated several methods for drawing the stars into their bodies. When Long Chen's Starry River manifestation appeared, it stunned everyone. Long Chen's Starry River covered up the nine heavens and the entire world. Even world kings felt minuscule seeing this. It was their first time seeing someone unleash such terrifying power without needing a set of battle armor. When they saw Long Chen's Starry River manifestation, the Starry River warriors realized just how terrifying their new cultivation art was. Hence, their gratitude toward Long Chen deepened to another level, and they also felt unprecedented confidence. When Long Chen drew 99 stars into his body, the entire world quivered and the heavenly Daos rumble. People were terrified and amazed by this. In this state, Long Chen appeared to be an absolute ruler. It seemed that even without doing anything, just a thought from him would be able to annihilate them. They finally understood that Long Chen was so terrifying that they couldn't even imagine it. Long Chen used his own body to deepen their understanding of this technique. He taught them how to draw in the second star, drawing in even more astral energy. At first, these Starry River warriors thought that the Starry River of the Sky art would only allow them to draw in a single star's energy. Then Long Chen told them that as long as they didn't give up, even the least talented of them could draw in nine stars. Those with the greatest talent would be able to draw in 99 stars. 
As for even more, it wasn't impossible, but it would be up to each person's comprehension and perseverance. This speech filled the Starry River warriors with excitement. A single star's energy was enough for them to undergo a heaven-toppling transformation. Then just how powerful would they be if they could draw in the power of nine stars? As for ninety-nine stars, they almost didn't dare to believe what kind of state they would be in after that. Long Chen spent a whole day re-explaining the important parts of the starry river of the sky arc to them. There were some points that they simply were unable to fully comprehend, so Long Chen didn't try to force it. He simply had them memorize those parts, and they could slowly ponder over them in the future. The starry river of the sky art was too profound, and some of its principles could not be expressed clearly with just words. They had to use their own comprehension power. If someone used their own comprehension to teach them, it would restrict their future path. That was a taboo for transmitting the Tao ever since ancient times. Long Chen had just finished teaching his side when the large sects sent over their talented disciples. Over 80 million heavenly geniuses from the various major powers had come. But now I will hold the class for you. Search Navalum, come for the original. Looking at the sea of people around him, Long Chen smiled slightly. Old devil race, dogs of Brahma, let's see just how powerful you are. Chapter 3614 Dean Long Chen as you instructed. The human race settlements without powerful defenses have all been abandoned with their people withdrawn, reported an elder. Excellent. To have accomplished this in just a day, it must have been hard on you. Long Chen nodded. Some sects truly were efficient. What he left to them would be accomplished beautifully. This was also a testament to Long Chen's sharp vision. The ones that he gave the orders to were all specially picked by him. For now, they were in charge of organizing the Devil Slaying Legion and had a great deal of authority. Right now, as the Devil Slaying Legion was just assembled once more, no one dared to defy their orders. Along with his announcement of the Devil Slaying Legion being reborn, Long Chen also sent out several orders. That was to directly abandon the cities like Clear Rain City that couldn't hold on their own. This would reduce the defensive line that they had to defend, as well as concentrate their combat power. The Old Devil Starfield only had three large domains, and they had enough defensive power to hold those three domains. Long Chen directly ordered everyone to retreat back to those three domains while abandoning the cities outside of them. However, there were many people living in those cities, and they didn't want to leave their homes. Some even raised suspicions over Long Chen's orders. Search Navaloon come for the original. Long Chen didn't bother with them. If they didn't want to leave, they didn't have to. These cities were now abandoned by the human race and would not receive further reinforcements or supplies. As a result, they were isolated and the people inside would only die. When five fingers were spread, every single finger could be easily taken down one by one. But when they were clenched into a fist, their power grew by many times. Although some people raised suspicions and complaints over these orders, these orders were still carried out. As for the spies up until now, the reports from the large sects are not very ideal. Currently, only 17 people have admitted to being spies, said the elder gravely. You didn't have those 17 people point out the other spies? Asked Long Chen. No, no one has asked them any questions, said the elder. Long Chen nodded. Good. Don't worry. Everything is under control. Good intentions cannot advise ghosts. I gave them this chance, but to tell the truth, I really don't want them to grasp it. I cannot tolerate traitors. However, I'm not from the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College nor a native to the Old Devil Star Field. I cannot fully comprehend your ties, so I gave them a chance to live. 
Spies are meaningless in front of absolute power. All you have to do is give them their chance, and the rest is up to their own luck. The elder nodded. When Long Chen gave this duty to him for only just over a dozen people to admit to being spies, he felt himself to be lacking. It felt like he had failed to live up to Long Chen's trust. However, he felt much better after Long Chen said this. He grew even more confident in this powerful youngster. After this report, Lang Huey came forward. Boss, the Starry River Legion isn't doing well. Of 80 million people, only 8 million are barely capable of using this technique. Moreover, those capable of condensing the Starry River manifestation are no more than 30,000. Using that as an estimate, those capable of drawing in astral energy and becoming Starry River warriors will number no more than 10,000. Impossible. These people are the elites of the various major powers. If so many of them are failing, with only one in a thousand elites able to pass, how can we create an army of a hundred thousand Starry River warriors? The others present were all startled. This result was unexpected. These were elites amongst elites, but only one in a thousand were capable of becoming Starry River warriors. Then what would the proportion for the ordinary disciples be? One in ten thousand? or one in a hundred thousand. People had seen hope after witnessing the power of the Starry River warriors. But seeing this failure rate, their newfound hope turned cold. On the other hand, Long Chen was not at all surprised by this result. He simply said, everything is as expected. There is nothing to be surprised about. Tomorrow, when the second batch of disciples arrives, you will understand. The next day, the disciples with slightly less talent arrived. They were in different batches because some people needed to be split to teach the disciples who had passed the initial test. On the second day, 30 million disciples came. People were pleasantly surprised to find that 50,000 of these disciples were capable of condensing the Starry River manifestation. This news shook the human race. These people's talent on average was quite inferior compared to the first batch. So why did they have such a higher ratio of success? Was there a problem with the trial? It was Long Chen who explained that the starry river of the sky art could only be cultivated by a person with the right character. The next most important factor was perseverance. As for talent, it was actually the least important thing for cultivating the Starry River of the Sky Art. The Starry River of the Sky Art required a righteous heart. Only someone possessing the right character could cultivate it. This explanation caused countless disciples with only average aptitudes to go crazy with joy. As for the heavenly geniuses that had failed the trial, they were all dejected and unwilling to accept this result. When it came to the disciples that had failed, Long Chen simply said that when cultivating, the first thing to do was to cultivate the heart. By cultivating the right character, by having a righteous heart, evil could not invade their minds. Then they could continue cultivating the starry river of the sky art. These words gave hope to those disciples that had failed. With the goal of joining the starry river legion, they worked hard on their cultivation. As people passed the trial, Long Chen spread the recording of his lesson on the starry river of the sky art, and a copy was given to all the major powers. He wanted every single person to be able to see the complete starry river of the sky art. This way, even disciples without good qualifications and those that weren't chosen could still cultivate the starry river of the sky art themselves. If they condensed the starry river manifestation, they could directly come to the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College. That was to avoid them trying to directly draw a star into their body. The starry river of the sky art truly bloomed and instantly spread among millions and millions of disciples of the human race. Countless people worked hard day and night to cultivate it. By the seventh day, 
there were already 300,000 people capable of condensing the Starry River manifestation and 60,000 capable of drawing a star into their body. As long as they forged their own battle armors, those 60,000 could become powerful Starry River warriors. As for those that had yet to draw a star into their bodies, it wasn't that their aptitude was lacking. When it came to sensing the corresponding star beyond the heavens, there was a large degree of luck involved. The lucky ones could find it in a few days, but others might take a few months or even a few years. However, as long as they didn't give up, through the process of elimination, they could find the right star. The families and sects of the disciples that managed to become Starry River warriors were even more excited than the actual disciples. This was a supreme glory. They would provide the best resources to these disciples, helping them forge the absolute strongest Starry River battle armors. On the eighth day, the number of Starry River warriors broke through a hundred thousand people. On this day, the old devil race launched a ferocious assault on the heavenly dragon domain. An endless army crashed down upon this domain like a raging tsunami. Chapter 3615 Endless Devil Beasts began to crazily attack the heavenly dragon domain's barrier. The barrier began to rapidly fall back. As the barrier fell back, it exposed countless cities. Those ancient cities instantly crumbled in the face of the devil beasts' attack. All devil bastards, and you traitors of the human race, just wait. We'll kill all of you. Watching as the homes that their ancestors had lived in were destroyed, countless experts roared furiously. Fools, do you think the great all-devil race is something that you can provoke? The merciful all-devil race gave you time to surrender, but you refused to recognize kindness. You actually were so arrogant as to resist, truly seeking your own destruction. You can't blame anyone else. An expert sitting on top of a late-stage world, King Bird sneered at them as he directed the attack of the Devil Beasts. Every section of the Devil Beasts had one human expert directing them. They were the traitors of the human race, and they knew the weak points of the barrier. With their directions, the Devil Beasts were capable of unleashing terrifying power. A quick look at Navaloon Calm will leave you more fulfilled. The barrier rapidly retracted. Fortunately, the people in those cities had long since been withdrawn. There were no huge casualties. However, seeing the cities with an immense history behind them destroyed like this, every person's heart was dripping blood. Those cities were witnesses to history and also witnesses to their own powerlessness. Even the cities that had been passed down from their ancestors generation after generation could not be protected by them. Fuck! This is too arrogant. Boss, let's slaughter them. Yuo Ran was enraged at the sight of these arrogant traitors. If you go out now, you won't be able to come back, said Long Chen, shaking his head. What? Are there some hidden experts? Asked Yuo Ran. There are no hidden experts. Instead, there is a hidden scheme. Do you see that a few devil beasts in their army are rather stiff and moving oddly? Those devil beasts are puppets with formation discs inside of them. Once you go out, they'll surround you and the formation discs will activate. You'll be transported away. As for where, you can guess for yourself. I would guess that it wouldn't be to treat you to a feast, said Long Chen. Damn, they are so sinister. Kuo Ran was startled. With this warning, people looked more closely at the devil beasts. A few were truly moving a bit oddly. Their hearts shook. Boss, how did you know? Asked Kuo Ran admiringly. How did I know? It's because I was come this way already. I was still in the Four Peak Realm back then, and that bastard in Puda almost conned me to death. The Yuo clan might be sinister, but when it comes to technique, they are a far cry from Imputa's level. Such a childish trap can only trick a few children. Long Chen curled his lips disdainfully. 
Back then, in Pewdus, schemes had come one after another in a perfect loop that could not be broken. Even Long Chen was ensnared. Although Long Chen hated in Puda, he had to admit that in Puda was quite formidable. As for the Luo clan's trap, it was far too obvious and came with no proper preparation. They were baiting them without preparing anything. It was practically an insult to people's intelligence. As a result of putting it this way, the surrounding experts were all embarrassed. They had been unable to see this trap. Yuo Ran laughed. As a youngster, I have always maintained a youthful heart. Lang Hui Zai Liwer and the others couldn't help laughing. Yuo Ran was truly shameless. He turned this immaturity into a marker of youthfulness. The barrier was continuing to fall back. As its area shrank, its power grew. When it was no more than a tenth of its original size, it stopped shrinking. Also, no matter how the devil beasts attacked, they were unable to shake it. With this, the heavenly dragon domain was reduced to only three ancient cities. The others were all abandoned and destroyed, and countless people had their moods plummet. Dean Long Chen, the ten days have passed. Within the entire All Devil Star field, a total of 117 people from the human race have stepped forward and repented for their sins. As for the others, the ten days' grace period for the spies to step forward had passed. The elder in charge of this matter reported it to Long Chen. During the past two days, Long Chen had gone into seclusion. But when he came out, everyone was shocked to find that he had reached the seventh heaven stage of the Divine Lord realm. He was a late-stage Divine Lord now. Furthermore, his aura was powerful and steady. It wasn't as if he had just advanced at all. Excellent. Those 117 people have saved their own lives. For them, to be able to step forward now shows that they have some conscience at the very least. They can't endure the pain of their betrayal. As for those that haven't stepped forward, don't worry about them. Go find a place to dig a 10,000-year hole for the corpses of those traitors. Prepare a steel to record their names and statuses. I want every descendant of this domain to remember those traitors. Let them have their names go down for 10,000 years of infamy as a warning, said Long Chen indifferently. Those traitors thought that the human race was doomed and that the All Devil race would become the ruler of the All Devil star field. If that was the case, Long Chen wouldn't give them any chance to regret it. Long Chen was also constantly gathering the medicinal ingredients that he needed. Practically, all the stocks of the ingredients that he needed had been gathered. After constantly consuming violet tower pills, the Enlightenment Palace star had also turned violet. Long Chen had abundant violet kai now. His 108,000 stars were immersed within that violet kai and undergoing some kind of transformation. The current Long Chen no longer knew just how powerful he was. Boss, the 100,000 starry river warriors have gathered. Their battle armors are complete, and they can enter the battlefield reported Guo ran excitedly. A hundred thousand starry river warriors. All of them were hot-blooded. Together with them, Guo ran felt like he had returned to when the Dragon Blood Legion fought their enemies. The most exciting thing was that every single starry river warrior was a true warrior, a companion worthy of trust. As expected, those that could cultivate the starry river of the sky art were righteous people. Other than the hundred thousand Starry River warriors, many more disciples were condensing the Starry River manifestation with every passing day. As they joined the troops, it seemed that it wouldn't be long before a second batch of a hundred thousand Starry River warriors was born. As for Zai Liur, Leng Hui, Tu Hu, Zai Kain Kian, and the original three hundred Starry River warriors, they had started drawing in the energy of two stars into their bodies. Moreover, they had finished modifying their battle armors for this new star, causing their power to once more soar. 
Long Chen nodded. These people really hadn't disappointed him. They connected with the second star so quickly. Long Chen directly presented Zai Liuer, Lang Hui Tu Hu, Zai Kain Qian, and the four other exceptionally talented heavenly geniuses with the title of captains. The three hundred starry river warriors were the squad leaders. The hundred thousand starry river warriors were placed under their jurisdiction. After some supervision, they followed a simple battle formation of the Dragon Blood Legion for training. During this time, the various large domains were attacked by the All Devil race. The Luo clan was starting to grow uneasy and was increasing the power of their attacks. The formation was using up a great deal of energy. If this continued, the human race would not be able to hold on for long. It was at this time that dissenting voices appeared within the human race. Their criticism was pointed at Long Chen. Long Chen smiled when those curses rang out. They were finally here. Chapter 3616 Long Chen, you had us abandon our homes and then cower like a tortoise. We're just retreating without actually fighting. Why are we throwing away all our opportunities to counterattack? What are you intending? Long Chen, you are spreading the starry river of the sky art as much as possible. There are people saying that it is an evil technique, and anyone that trains in it will fall under your sorcery. They end up under your control and will kill anyone you order them to. Are you trying to use the starry river of the sky art to control the entire human race of the old devil star field? Long Chen, you scoured our land of medicinal ingredients. I heard that you're an alchemist, while the old devil star field is full of precious ores and rare medicinal ingredients. What is your goal in coming here? Millions of experts stood at the gates of the heavenly dragon divine armor college, shouting angrily at Long Chen. During this time, Long Chen had not made any further moves. That resulted in many people losing confidence in him. Their complaints began to pile up, and now they erupted. These millions of experts gathered to criticize him. This novel is available on Noveloon, come the higher-ups, and the various leaders of the major sects were also present, watching as this group raged. Looking at this group, they couldn't help frowning. These people were furiously condemning Long Chen. They even accused him of being a comrade of the old devil race. When they accused him of trying to destroy the human race, Guo Ran and the others went green with rage. You pack of fools, are you courting death? Guo Ran roared furiously. You are the one courting death. What can we not ask questions? If Long Chen really feels no guilt, he can step forward and explain himself. We need to have a reason to trust him. We need to know the truth. What is wrong with that? Long Chen, if you don't give us an explanation, it means that your heart is guilty. This must be your scheme. That's right, it's a sinister scheme. We have to kill Long Chen right now. He's the greatest calamity of the human race. Roars rang out from within the crowd. It seemed that in their eyes, Long Chen was already labeled a sinister schemer. They were set on him being a scourge. Seeing this scene, Guo Ran was enraged. Let alone Guo Ran. Ling Hui Zai Liuer, Zai Kain Qian, Tu Hu, and all the experts that cultivated the starry river of the sky art were also infuriated. Anyone who could cultivate the starry river of the sky art could sense the righteousness in each other's hearts. It could be said that even two strangers who cultivated this technique could trust each other. Without this righteous heart, it was not possible to cultivate the starry river of the sky art. Thus, their trust in Long Chen was like a solid boulder. Because of this, though, these people's questioning and condemnation of Long Chen enraged and aggrieved them. They were about to go out into a life-and-death battle with these idiots. Could it be that they were risking their lives to protect this group of people? Now they understood how Zia Yuhong felt all that time ago. They could understand how he could abandon the old devil's star field. Silence! 
Long Chen looked at the furious crowd and shouted a single word, shaking their ears and causing them to fall silent. To tell the truth, I've been waiting for you a long time. If you stayed silent, I would have lost patience first. Long Chen looked at them indifferently. Long Chen suddenly extended a hand. After that, a shifty-eyed elder within the crowd suddenly cried out in shock. He involuntarily flew into Long Chen's grasp. Long Chen grabbed his neck, holding him like a chicken. The latter was powerless to resist and was filled with horror. What? What are you doing? You're going to kill people to silence them. As expected, you have a guilty conscience. Release him. Bullying an old man who's only a divine lord, does that count as an ability? Long Chen, why must you silence the people? Having your scheme exposed, your shame turns into wrath. The crowd instantly erupted into furious curses. Kill everyone who's cursing, said Long Chen icily. Yuo Ran had been waiting for this order. When he extended his arm, arrows shot out, perfectly striking those people right in the head. As a result, hundreds were slain in an instant. Those were the people shouting the loudest. As soon as they died, the others jumped in horror. More of them began to curse, even more furiously than before. The worst curses came from them. After that, another wave of arrows flew out. This time, even Lang Hui Zai Liur and the others joined in. Over 10,000 people were slain, and rivers of blood flowed. Those protesters finally fell silent with horror. Most of these people didn't have particularly powerful cultivation bases. Most of them were old. However, they definitely had a certain level of influence. Even so, Long Chen didn't even give them a chance to protest. Anyone who opened their mouth was slain. The ringleaders were now slain, so the others were shocked, enraged, and horrified. But no one dared to keep cursing. However, after this, the spectators' expressions changed. They all felt that Long Chen's methods were unreasonable and unnecessarily cruel. Some elders, in particular, had ugly expressions. Dean Long Chen, don't you feel that you're going a bit too far? A sect leader opened his mouth, only for Long Chen to point a single finger at him. His body exploded. What? Now everyone was truly shocked. That was a sect leader. Just because he said that Long Chen was going too far, he was to be slain. Everyone's expression changed. Long Chen then turned his attention back to the elder in his hand. He peeled the skin off of the elder's face. People were shocked to find that there was no blood even when his skin was off. It was actually a human skin mask. When his true face was exposed, a sect leader cried out in shock. Kin Zaifai, how can you be here? No, don't tell me. Yar. That sect leader began to quiver with rage, having a bad feeling. This person had changed his appearance and disguised his cultivation base. The truth was evident. I, I, the man called Kin Zaifai instantly panicked in front of that sect leader's questioning. Long Chen clenched his hand, tearing off that person's head. He then tossed it to the sect leader. I trust that you know what to do. That sect leader looked at the head in his hand. He clenched his teeth. Kin Zaifai, Kin Zaifai, you might be my adopted son, but I always viewed you as my own child. I didn't expect you to betray your sect and the entire human race. My eyes are blind. How did I not see that you are a beast in human form? Only now did people realize that the elder was actually an early stage world king and a young man. He was clearly one of the ringleaders trying to cause trouble for the human race. Suddenly, the void shuddered and a pillar of light covered all the protesters. There were a few figures amongst them that had been stealthily slipping away, but then they ran into that light. Countless eyes locked onto them. So it was you lot. Kyuo ran and the others shouted furiously. 
The Starry River warriors instantly captured those people, other than the spies. Kill all the protesters. Long Chen's order left people in disbelief. They didn't dare to believe their ears. Chapter 3617 Dean Long Chen This time, even the expressions of the celestial essence sect's patriarch and the others changed. This was an entirely new level of strictness. They are only fools manipulated by others. Dean Long Chen, please spare their lives. A half-step divine venerate couldn't help pleading for mercy for them. If their lives are spared, who will spare ours? Even if they were manipulated by others, they have earned their deaths. Long Chen's expression was dark. He pointed at that group of terrified protesters. You are the trash of the human race. I don't see you setting foot on the battlefield. I don't see you when we need to raise funds and resources. Just who gave you the courage to come here and so arrogantly criticize others? If you can't help when we need aid and can't even pretend to be extras on the same side, then all you can be is vile people dragging down the human race. You sow chaos within the human race. Ever since ancient times, an army could never be controlled by compassion. Anyone who tries to shake the hearts of the army must be slain. I don't care if they were manipulated, or if they are simply trolls who need to shout. For them to come out at this time, kill them all. Long Chen's words were like rolling thunder shaking people's ears. It contained endless killing intent that made people's souls quiver. We all know that they are hateful, but many of them are innocent. Can you not give them a chance? pleaded the half-step divine venerate. Ah, innocent, give them a chance. Has your mind grown muddled with age? Don't you remember why Zaidu left back then? Barked Long Chen. When Long Chen mentioned Zaidu Hong, those people fell silent. Back then, Zaidu Hong was not willing to tolerate all the slander that people like this had thrown at him. He had done so much for these people, but rather than gratitude, he faced such treatment. In his fury, he directly left, allowing these people to destroy themselves. You say that they are innocent? After Zayed Yuhang left, the human race lost huge swathes of territory. Cities and strongholds were lost. How many people have died over the years because of that? How many generations of people fell to the hands of the old evil race? Tell me. Did those descendants who never slandered or questioned anyone deserve to lose their lives because of their ancestors' folly? Are they innocent? demanded Long Chen, staring at this half-step divine venerate who had spoken out from a sense of righteousness. That elder was completely red and couldn't say a single word. Zai Yuhong and Liuo Qingying had always been a sore point in the hearts of the human race of the old devil Starfield. To the outside world, the All Devil Star Field was still called the Hanging Star Field as a testament of their contributions for the people. One acted for her family, the other acted for his love, but both of them shook the world and obtained the recognition of everyone. But the people that they had done so much for were precisely the ones to drive them away. They had torn down their own walls. They were pitiful and hateful idiots. Long Chen's words woke countless people up to this. Was this not the same path that Zia Guang had walked down back then? And back then, Zia Guang didn't even care about the suspicions and slander of a few random people. It was later, when this slander spread like a vicious poison throughout the human race, that his heart grew cold. Everyone talked about it, and the number of people who believed it increased. It was because over half of the human race here began to question Zayed Yuhong that he left. Everyone looked at Long Chen and thought of Zayed Yuhong. Was history not replaying itself? However, Long Chen's methods were not the same as Zayed Yuhong's. Give them another chance. If I gave them another chance, they would have another chance to do this. 
Can it be that we have to expose our strategies and plans to everyone before they can progress? Do we need a public proclamation? To prove our innocence, can it be that they have to talk to eighteen generations of my ancestors before trusting me? Those who want to have mercy on them, are you not idiots? Do you have brains? If we went back in time to the era of Zayed Yuong and Liuo Qingying, it would be fools like you that caused the deaths of so many of your descendants. You would be the sinners of the era. Long Chen pointed at that half-step divine venerate and cursed him. Despite all those curses, that elder remained silent. His expression was one of shame, and he lowered his head. Long Chen's words were correct. Their predecessors had made this mistake, and they wanted Long Chen to make the same mistake. It was practically an unforgivable sin. I came to lead this battle due to the Dean of the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College entrusting this task to me. I already told you that if you want to follow me, you better do it obediently. If you don't want to follow me, then scram. I am different from Big Brother Zayed Yuhong. He is an unrivaled hero with a vast heart. I cannot possibly reach his level in this lifetime. My authority is supreme here, so don't talk to me about freedom of speech or having a right to know the truth. You have no right to raise suspicions here. This world does need different voices, but freedom of speech does not permit malicious sneers, curses, slanders, and defamation. People like you drove away Big Brother Zayeg you hung with this, but it won't work on me. Anyone who dares to try will be directly killed. Kill those people. I want to use their blood to warn the world that foolish actions have a price. If anyone begs for mercy for them, kill them as well. Upon thinking of how Zaya Gyuhong had been driven off in a rage because of people like this, ultimately losing his lover because of this war and spending a lifetime depressed, Long Chen's killing intent raged. Zaya Gyuhong was an unrivaled hero. Thinking of how he had lost so much due to these people, Long Chen felt great injustice for him. Now that they tried to do the same thing to him, he treated them with no compassion at all. The Starry River warriors immediately followed his orders. As a result, arrows rained down and screams followed. No, don't kill us. They gave us money. No, not money. They threatened our families. A quick look at Navaloon Khan will leave you more fulfilled. It would have been better if that person hadn't opened his mouth. As soon as he did, it exposed their greedy nature. At first, the Starry River warriors also felt a bit unwilling to kill them. But his words fully infuriated them, and they slaughtered these people. These people were inciting hatred within the human race for profit. It would be unjust to not kill them. In just a few breaths' time, those protesters were slain. Their corpses were piled up, and their blood soaked the land. Everyone was silent. Long Chen coldly announced, Those that trust me should follow me obediently. Those that don't trust me should find another path. Starting today, I will not allow any questioning voices. As for whether or not my actions are correct today, whether or not I will be denounced in historical records, the future will tell. I have never cared about reputation. That is dogshit to me. Everyone was deathly silent. This black-robed youngster was absolutely terrifying. He ordered the deaths of millions of people without batting an eye. His killing intent terrified them. Starry River Legion, assemble! shouted Long Chen suddenly. A hundred thousand Starry River warriors immediately gathered according to a troop formation. All of them were in their armors and ready for combat. Starry River warriors, follow me into battle. Boom! Suddenly, the heavenly dragon domain's barrier quivered. Light fell from it, landing on the Starry River Legion. All of them instantly vanished. Everyone, we are only witnesses to this era. We're not the leaders. Let's calm down and just enjoy the show. Zhu Yifen smiled. He was the only one here who knew where Long Chen had gone. Just then, 
a tablet began to flash on the waist of the celestial essence sect's patriarch. His expression completely changed. Not good. The celestial essence domain is under attack. We have to send reinforcements. Chapter 3618 The cry of alarm from the celestial essence sect's patriarch made everyone jump. They immediately gathered their forces to reinforce the celestial essence domain. Currently, within the entire All Devil Star field, they only had the Heavenly Dragon domain, the Celestial Essence domain, and the Magnificent Heaven domain. All three of them had powerful formations protecting them. They were also linked by transportation formations so that people could easily move between them. The spatial channels between the three great domains were held in the hands of Zhu Yifen, the Celestial Essence sect's patriarch and another half-step divine venerate. That was their lifeline. Other than the three of them, no one else could get close to those three major transportation formations. That was to prevent the old devil race from destroying them. The celestial essence domain was now under attack. Furthermore, the distressed signal was already read. That meant that it was such a fierce attack that the formation was in danger of being destroyed. The Patriarch and the others quickly went through the transportation formation to reinforce the Celestial Essence Domain. But when they arrived, they found no enemy army at all. The Patriarch was infuriated. He roared, who lied about the situation and set off an alarm. Get out here, Patriarch. It wasn't a lie. A powerful army did come. Look, the barrier is riddled with holes that are still slowly repairing reported one elder sincerely. Looking over, the Patriarch saw that the formation was at full power, and there were hundreds of giant holes in the barrier that were still in the midst of closing. To break through this formation, most likely only the Kinging battleship is capable of it. These horrifying holes made people gasp. That is what happened. The Luo clan mobilized seven of their Kinging battleships at once adding on tens of thousands of other battleships and various devil beasts that covered the sky and the earth, their frontal assault instantly pierced through the formation, reported the elder nervously. The celestial essence domain's experts were all pale with lingering fear. That had truly been a terrifying experience just now. They had all thought that they were doomed. Then where are they? asked the patriarch. They only attacked for a moment and suddenly left. We don't know what they are doing either, answered the elder, just as lost. Not good. Are they trying to lure us away? Is their target the magnificent heaven domain? A half-step divine venerate's expression changed. Just then, someone's tablet began to flash, making everyone jump. But then they saw that it was Zhu Yifen's tablet. Their target is the heavenly dragon domain. No, this isn't an alarm. It's a projection mechanism. Zhu Yifen hastily waved his hand, indicating to not be so nervous. Zhu Yifen took his jade tablet off of his waist and placed it in midair. Forming hand seals, it suddenly unleashed divine light, forming a giant mirror in the sky. People then saw countless figures overflowing with explosive killing intent. The sound of a slaughter rang out. Is it? The Starry River Legion. If Long Chen and the others were transported away to a large mountain range. This mountain range was made of stone with giant cliffs piercing the clouds. Every mountain had large caves from which battleships came out. This was the Luo clan's headquarters. It was also a treasured land of excellent feng shui that the old devil race provided them. There were all kinds of ores underground. Those ores could be refined into immortal metals used for forging battle armors and divine weapons. It could be said that the Luo clan had an endless supply of resources here. That was why the Luo clan's people, and the people that had surrendered to the Luo clan, were one level better equipped than the Heavenly Dragon Divine Armor College and the other powers. It was thanks to this land of wealth 
that the Luo clan managed to secretly forge so many powerful battleships and battle armors in just a few short centuries. It was this land that caused countless people to despair and join the Luo clan's side. This was the secret base of the Luo clan. But today, Long Chen was directly transported here along with a hundred thousand Starry River warriors. Long Chen and the others had just arrived when the formations here sensed their auras. All the formations activated, causing a barrier to pop up throughout the mountains. It happened instantaneously. Following that, an ear-piercing alarm rang out. Countless experts came flying out of the caves. Long Chen directly struck the barrier with his black dagger. With a single cut, this formation that could even stop battleships had a giant hole cut into it. Kill these traitors that harm their own race. Long Chen put away the dagger and took out the Mingong saber. He then unleashed a slash. Oh, this opening that could only fit a few people at a time instantly blew up. With an opening dozens of miles wide, Guo ran and the others charged through. I swept through the four seas, crossed shut up. It killing, Long Chen kicked Guo Ran before he could finish. Guo Ran wasn't even done chanting before he was kicked into the enemy army. This fellow didn't care about the situation when it came to showing off. Enemy attack, the Luo clan's experts cried out. In his battle armor, Guo Ran swept through his enemies. His voice was like thunder. All of you remember my name. I am Guo Ran. I am cleaning the human race of its trash. When you meet the Yama King, make sure to report my name. Traitors were the most hateful existence, and they were even more hateful than the actual enemies. The people here were working hard on creating battle armors and divine weapons, tools that killed their fellow humans. Kill. Kill all of them. The hundred thousand Starry River warriors were like tigers unleashed on a flock of sheep. Even if their battle armors and divine weapons were inferior to the other side, with the support of the Starry River manifestation, these people were easily cut down. Most importantly, the people here were not the main fighters. The true warriors had been dispatched by the Luo clan to attack the Celestial Essence Domain. Hence, the Starry River warriors killed them as easily as slaughtering chickens. With every slash of their weapons, blood flew and battle armors shattered. Even if the battle armors themselves could resist their attacks, the people inside were still killed by the impact. These people didn't even last a single breath's time before they began to flee and cry for their fathers and mothers. Some people even knelt on the ground and begged for mercy. But the Starry River warriors had no mercy. All they wanted was to kill them all. As for Long Chen, once he entered the barrier, the first thing he did was to break all the transportation formations. He then looked at the mountains, examining the terrain. It seemed that he was looking for a suitable place for him to slash his saber. Search Navaloon, come for the original. In only a dozen breaths' time, all the people outside were slain. There were still some people hiding within the caves, and the Sari River warriors directly entered to kill them. Oh! Suddenly, Long Chen's saber fell and a huge mountain was cleanly cut apart. From the opening that he made, it was possible to see many levels inside the mountain. On the bottom few levels, there were piles of battleships, sets of armor, weapons, immortal metals, ores, and other treasures. There were many incomplete battleships as well. When Guo Ren saw those treasures, his eyes instantly turned green with greed. Like a hungry wolf, he cried out, We've struck gold. Chapter 3619 Stop killing the traitors and gather all the treasures. You only have ten breaths time. You must be quick, shouted Long Chen. After giving that order, Long Chen took out formation discs. There were over a thousand of them, and he placed them according to a certain arrangement. If the grand formation was broken with a single attack, how can that be? 
That formation doesn't look weaker than our celestial essence sect's grand formation at all. Heavens, they are attacking the military forging area of the Luo clan. How did they find it? The main thing is that even if they found it, how did they manage to transport themselves there like this? When they saw Long Chen and the others break through the formation and directly attack the Luo clan's forging land, everyone within the Celestial Essence domain was dumbfounded. I understand. The Luo clan suddenly retreated because they received a distress signal from there exclaimed the patriarch of the celestial essence sect. Everyone nodded at that. They felt a wave of admiration for Long Chen. But how did Long Chen know that the Luo clan would suddenly attack? How did he grasp the timing so perfectly? Countless gazes looked at Su Yifen, who then shook his head with a bitter smile. Don't look at me. I've left everything to Dean Long Chen. He doesn't need to discuss anything with me so I don't know anything about it. All I know is that if you're going to use someone, don't doubt them, and if you doubt someone, don't use them. Since I've chosen to trust him, I trust him fully. Although I haven't done anything big in this lifetime, I'd have some confidence in my vision. I also feel great admiration for the High Firmament Academy's Dean Bai Lishan. If he can trust Long Chen, then there's no need for me to doubt him. Right now, I am just a spectator. I don't need to manage anything and can just enjoy the show. Hearing that, everyone was even more shocked. This far too brazen youngster's methods were truly astonishing. They fell silent and continued watching the Starry River warriors slaughter the traitors. While watching this, the resentment that had been accumulating within their hearts felt lighter. Heavens, there are so many treasures. When they saw Long Chen split apart the mountain, revealing all the treasures, everyone's eyes reddened. Even the likes of Zhu Yifen, the Celestial Essence Sect's patriarch, and the other half-step divine venerates let out a silent sigh when they saw that. Standing at their height, they no longer felt much toward these items. But to other cultivators, this kind of allure was fatal. Back in the Hongying era, in the end, people lost to their greed. If the human race had really won, it was unknown if they would have turned against each other and slaughtered their fellow humans just for a better percentage of those resources. The elders exchanged glances and shook their heads. The human race might be able to defeat their fierce and powerful enemies, but most of the time, they lost to their greed. It the hundred thousand starry river warriors collapsed on the treasury, sweeping all the treasures away. It was like they were licking it clean. Even the windows and door frames were torn off, let alone the doorposts and stairs. In any case, they were all made out of metal and were valuable, so these robbers didn't leave anything behind. Even Long Chen was dumbfounded. Damn, your methods really are professional. I didn't teach you these things, said Long Chen. Hee hee, we're just self-made geniuses. This is our natural talent, chortled one starry river warrior with a pleased expression. Everyone, get in the transportation formation. We're leaving. Long Chen directed everyone into the formation he had set up with the discs. Boss, you really are a divine strategist. You prepared everything. Hua ran, and the others couldn't help prostrating themselves toward Long Chen when they saw him set up their escape route in the short time it took them to clean out the treasures. Divine strategist, my ass. This was all prepared by the dean. Put away your armors. Don't let your auras fluctuate too badly, or it will affect the formation, ordered Long Chen. Just then, they heard rumbling in the distance. Everyone was startled and hastily looked over. After that, Long Chen activated the formation, and over a thousand formation disks lit up at the same time. The Starry River warriors were enveloped by a thousand rays of divine light. Space then shuddered, and all of them vanished, leaving behind only the fragments of the formation disks. Just as they vanished, 
the void rumble and seven kinging battleships tore through the void. However, they were one step too late. They didn't even manage to go look at the robbers' shadows. They only saw ruins. Support us at Navaloon, come ah. Our stronghold, an elder let out a heart-rending scream when he saw the wreckage that was once their powerful base. It had to be known that this stronghold was built with a huge amount of the Luo clan's blood and sweat. There were countless formations carved under the stronghold, costing a huge amount of manpower and financial resources. But this stronghold was now completely wrecked and the treasures were stolen. The Luo clan's battle armors and battleships no longer even had a place to be repaired when they were damaged. It had to be known that the old devil star fields battleships and battle armors constantly used up resources. After every large battle, many damaged components needed to be repaired. Even if they didn't need specific repairs, they had to be taken good care of to maintain peak combat power. With this stronghold destroyed, they had lost the place for the maintenance of their equipment. Once their battleships were damaged, they wouldn't be able to use them again. This meant that their battle potential would plummet the longer they fought. This move of Long Chen's had truly struck them where it hurt. The heavens are about to change. We're doomed. That elder of the Luo clan was as pale as a sheet of paper. He was terrified. It's not that brave, is it? We still have eighteen kinging battleships, a hundred thousand offensive battleships, and thirty thousand defensive battleships. We still have an overwhelming advantage, said another elder uncomprehendingly. Although this stronghold was destroyed, which was most definitely a shocking and alarming matter, he felt that the despair in that elder's eyes was overstating it. Even without this stronghold, they didn't have anything to fear. What do you know? The old devil race is only willing to let us mine the resources here because they want to defeat the human race effortlessly. They are using us while we are also using them. But now that we've lost this stronghold, we don't have any further supplies. We'll grow weaker and weaker. When we start fighting a direct battle against the human race, the old devil race will not hesitate to make their move. They might just wipe all of us up together, raged the elder. The other elder sucked in a cold gasp of air. He hadn't thought that far. The only reason that the old devil race had chosen to cooperate with them was to defeat the human race without having to lift a finger. This was their agreement. The Luo clan would unify the old devil star field for the old devil race, and then all the resources here would belong to the Luo clan. However, the condition was that the old devil race would win without mobilizing a single fighter. They only left these devil beasts to the Luo clan to direct. If the Luo clan failed to accomplish their task, then their agreement would be void. After that, the old devil race would slaughter them as well, and it wouldn't count as breaking their oath. According to the old devil race's violent character, they really might just destroy them all. Then the old devil race would be the only winner. There would no longer be a human race in the old devil star field. The rest of the Luo clan's battleships only arrived at this time. Those battleships simply couldn't compare to the kinging battleships. Suddenly, that elder's tablet began to flash rapidly. He jumped in terror. Not good. The headquarters is under attack. Chapter 3620 At the center of the Old Devil Star Field was a giant city.